John Luke, I can't believe you're going to college. It seems like you just got out of high school. Okay, he did just get out of high school. He's on to bigger and better things. I don't know about bigger and better, but he's going on to other things. We're gonna miss him. Yep. The time has finally come to send John Luke to college. So we're hitting the road tomorrow to take him and his wife to their new home in Virginia. Little Simba, seemed like yesterday I was holding you up like this. Aww. Dad, that was yesterday. Was it? These kids grow up so fast. I just kind of wish they were staying a little closer to home than Liberty University. Before long, you'll be having kids, teaching right, them stuff. All right, Mr. Memory Lane, I need a burger. All right. <laughs> Good talk, John Luke. I mean, Virginia's like a 14-hour drive. And that's a long time to be in an RV with your family, especially my family. So let's get this straight. What time are we leaving to Nashville? Hey, we're leaving at 6 o'clock. We're going to Nashville? No, we're not going. Tomorrow? We're, we're not going. We're going. We, what are you not about? as in you. No, y'all got to take Not me. you. Well, we're taking John Luke and Mary-Kate to Liberty. I know, that's fine. We're yep. going to Liberty so Cole can see it, and we're visiting Nashville to check on Reed in his new place. And meet up with my buddy Cole. Then, hey, you got to take me. Because, look, so, I'm learning how to play the guitar, and so, I'm fixing to become a rock star. So, OK, I'm going to knock Nashville's socks off. Wow. Si, so you've been playing a guitar for like two weeks. I know it, but I'm good already. Look, guys, there's different phases of life. You're a kid, you're an adult, and then you're old. Hey, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm at the old part. Right. You can book you him can. in at all the nursing homes in the that. area. Hey. Bingo hey. parlor. I'd be good at nursing <laughs> homes. You'd be out the nursing homes. Y'all gonna circuit. regret saying that when I'm a star. The man wants to be a rock star. Come I, on. Look, I mean, it's my last shot, boys. I can get killed by a comet tomorrow. You never know. Getting on ain't that bad. Because number one, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I'm at that age. All right? Just give me a chance. That's all I'm saying. Well, Y'all well, going to Nashville yeah, anyway? Fine. I mean, fine. But be prepared to carry some boxes when we get to Virginia, because that's, that's the main that's thing fine. we're doing. I'll help you unload John Luke and Mary Kate. Si, you're going to Nashville. There you go. All right. Corey, he's that's in. That's Stella. Look out, Nashville. Silas Merritt Robertson is coming to town, and old age is coming with him. Attention, everybody. It's gonna give a little speech uh, for John Luke and Mary Kate. So they're heading off to school, happily married, and um, we'll be driving a truck up there with Cy si now. 6 a.m. Um, I'll see y'all at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> Great, Cy. Si. All right, so we went in with a toast to John Luke and Mary Kate. Cheerio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you want to be a rock star, huh? I got a face for music, buddy. So you got a face for radio, I believe. Happy birthday. You're seven today. Uh-huh. When the rest of the family gets back from their trip, we're going to do a big birthday party. But today, we're going to celebrate with just us. Cheer up. You blew it out. No, I didn't. I can't believe our baby boy, River, is seven years old today. What do you want to do for your birthday, buddy? I want to eat the cake. It seems like yesterday, I was holding that little peanut in my arms, and now he's so grown up. Do you want to maybe go skating or bowling? Nah. We're going to have like a really big blowout next weekend, but today's his actual birthday, so we're going to do a little something special. I want to make a superhero movie. Or we can just do something completely weird and random. I showed him some of my old Duck Commander movies. Like hunting DVDs, maybe? I want to be a assassin. I've never heard of that superhero. Well, he's a new one. Was he good or a bad person? He's a complicated person. So he murders people? Uh-uh. He does what he has to do to get paid and to do good. Assassin. <laughs> This will be fun. Tomorrow, we make a movie called Assassin. Assassin. You are definitely my son. You came from my loins. Inappropriate. Smile, Willie. Sam, so driving. Smile. smile. 
Shot. Pick up. Punch. We there? Stop. I need a bathroom. Oh, great. <laughs> yep. I ain't pulling up. Hey, it's unsafe for me to try to walk back to the bathroom, OK? It's dangerous. You got a point. Yeah. Not only not only for myself, it's dangerous for those that I'm walking by. Oh, oh great. That, that's OK? A... You going to pull over or not? No, I'm not pulling right, over. Hey, I guess I'm going to have to use my teacup. That's disgusting. All the women close their eyes. What? <laughs> There's a sign that says school starting, school for all ages. And it's open. This is my dad on trips, reading all the he signs. He reads every sign. So you don't have to read every sign that we have. Oh, yeah. Have. Yeah, that was a yeah. good one back there. Civil War Trail. Huh. And there's a cannon on top of the hill. Pennsylvania Avenue. Ford Avenue. Broadway. Yep. Yeah. Are we having fun yet on this road trip? Right, that's what I'm talking about. This place looks great. A very um sci like story. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh. Oh, y'all like know that. the statement, the clothes make the man. <laughs> hey. We've hit the mother load, buddy. Five minutes into Nashville, and Corey and Sadie have already found a clothing store to check out. But it's not them I'm worried about. It's ZZ Flop and his big dreams. Jackpot! Hurry up, we gotta go see Colt. Sal with ambition is like Gollum with his precious. It's unpredictable and kind of creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna try on a few things real quick. Basically, I'm just trying to keep from spending my entire trip in Nashville on size delusions. It's like my two worst things in the world, trying on clothes and being stuck with Sai combined. Oh, look, hey, you can't expect nothing from somebody that ain't an artist. Knucklehead. OK, boys. The camo pants are gone. Uh-huh. Yep. OK. That is disturbing. <laughs> disturbing? The, hey! You have the mouth. tiniest calves I've ever hey. seen in my life. Oh, shut up. Now I know why you don't wear shorts. It's just two bones. <laughs> oh, hush. Si, hurry up. We got to go. Hey! 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 Si, I'm fixing to leave, right? And we're leaving you in this store. Willie. Hey, you can't rush sexy, son. Ugh. Most men, when they get my age, OK, and they hit their midlife crises, the next thing you know, they lose their mind. Hey, but if you ask me, OK, I'm fixing to hit life's sweet spot. I'm ordering me about five to $10,000 worth of stuff and charge it to you. So I told you I was spending $100. That's it. Hey, the socks I got on cost $100. I'm like a caterpillar fixing the inner cocoon. And then, voila, next thing you see, I'm a beautiful butterfly with the voice of an angel, OK, and the guitar skills of Stevie Vay Ron. OK, I'm on there ready, boys. I'll be cooler than the other side of the pillow. I like it. Come on. Come on up here. I don't like it. This trip could transform my life and music, OK, as we know it, forever. All right. What do you think? It's a little too flashy. What? But not in a good way flashy. It might be a little overkill. You look like a cartoon character. It needs a little more pizzazz. Interesting shirt. Let's go with no camo pants. OK. You already tried that on. I don't support lunacy. <laughs> God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, this is the one. OK, here we go. Look here. The man formerly known as Cy no longer exists. Nice. Love it. I like it. Perfect. Perfect. Now you're looking at the royal flush. OK, oh, I yeah. I like it. Hey, Willie, you do have your credit card, right? Sir, no. Put it on the credit card. So exactly what are we doing here, uh, Jeff Coburn? That's a great question. And as the director, I can answer that. We are making a movie for River for his birthday entitled The Assassin. What? Basically, the movie is an evil wizard capture the princess using foul henchmen and River the assassin rescues the princess. What? I'm super pumped about River's movie. Um, as you can see, I have this. 
cool. And it's gonna be like a low budget passion project because I really don't have the resources to do anything else. Everybody's got a part. Dad, you will be playing the evil wizard. You guys are henchmen. Sort of like I'm coaching a football team with some tennis players. They're all about their rackets and their fuzzy balls. They're not into pigskins, helmets, knocking people's heads off. Mom, you're a wizardess. Scylla will be playing the president. Woo! These are my assistants. I need some water. Fight on the set, people. Hey, but I'll take what I can get, which is pretty much the C team. And my smoking hot, beautiful wife is the princess. I would say D, but I got a thing for the princess. All right, Dad, this is your staff. You got one line. My heewee-jeewee stick. That's actually your staff. Looks more like a broom, doesn't it? You basically, you got one line. Thou shalt not pass. You're on the wrong road. <laughs> yep. Or just, thou shalt not pass. Don't go down that road. I got it. Thou shalt not pass. It's a good line. Pause. 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 All right, and now, please welcome River the Assassin. Everybody clap. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! yeah. Woo. Yes! Do your cartwheel. Wow. Do your round off. Man, I got Whoa. chills. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! That's what Aunt Mama's talking about. That was pretty good. Are you an assassin or a cheerleader? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, he'll get you later for that. Hey, yeah! Oh. Wow! Ooh, we've been practicing. Easy, easy. Y'all ready to make the movie? He don't have super powers. Get him, assassin. River of pain. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mean one. Cole, this is awesome, man. So the video's out? Cut them all, Jack. It's worldwide, man. Oh, man, that's awesome. It's unbelievable. Good? People are going crazy. You did good, too, man. You might be another music uh, career for you. I don't think I'll quit my day job. Speaking what? about quitting a day job, I'm thinking about getting into the music biz. Well, you, what's your artist name going to be? Okay. Is, is it going to be Cy? In Nashville, I'm going to be known as the Royal Flush. The Royal Flush. Why the Royal Flush? Because I, I like poker. There's been way worse ideas than that, I'll be honest with you. There you go. We're at my buddy Colt's studio, and Cy is wasting no time trying to kickstart his music career. Cy, you look like a dead guy. Hey, look, I'm networking here, son, OK? Look, I'm all for Cy pursuing his dreams. I just wish his dream was something a little more realistic. Me and you down like four flat tires. Oh, oh right to the bottom. I'm not trying to be mean, but Cy is a little past his prime, and that's putting it gently. I mean, the man can't even tell a full story without totally losing his train of thought or taking a bathroom break. Hey, y'all too like music. What would you say? Cy, you'll be just like T Swizzle. That's what I was thinking. Keith Wiggle? T Swizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Who is he? You have a lot to learn about your new industry, Cy. The music industry ain't exactly a business where old men become stars. When's the last time you can remember a 66-year-old guy winning Best New Artist of the Year? Never. I just had a, just a brainstorm, OK? Look, Royal Flush, OK? And here's the new album. Hey, Rhinestone is the new black. That ain't bad. Well, let's see. Uh, they call me Cy, y'all. I spit that country grandma. I drink that sweet tea. Grew up in Louisiana. I'm like the poker king. They call me Royal Flush. I spit that country grandma. So Willie, just hush. How about that? <laughs> there you go. All right, so I did that. Now you do, do what I just did. Hey, look, this rapping thing, it's easier than I thought, OK? It's just, you know, you're telling a story. Look, the other night, we're at Jace's house, OK? We deal the cards out, OK? I got pocket tens, Jace has got pocket jacks. Hey, he raises me 50, I bump him a hundo. <laughs> okay, the other two knuckleheads in the hand, they fold because they can't stand the heat in the kitchen, okay? Jace gets up and says, I've got to go to the restroom. Wait. I said, hold it, the hand is going on and you can't do that, okay? Is Play this your a song, cards. or are you describing an actual <laughs> hey, poker game? No, well, this is a song, but it was actually a poker game, too. Okay. 
Okay, this is real. I mean, real. you may be onto something. Oh, no, okay. this okay, is I'm real, sorry. okay? I'm sorry, keep going. Go, 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 go. Hey, even Cole Ford couldn't keep up my rhymes. Okay, we waited till the river, and Jay says, I'm all in. I flopped a set of tens, so I said, you lose, you idiot. Nailed it. Ah, good job. Wow, I can't believe how fast you picked that up. I don't know what just happened. All right, word to your mother. Maybe I get you up on stage or something. You never know. I mean, that could be your big debut right there. Oh, I wish we could do that. But we got to get the kids to Lynchburg. All right, look, hey, I'll have your people call my people. Look, I'll just text you. No, I don't have a cell phone. Put them in their spots. All right, You're are we right ready? Here. I'm right here. OK. Get out of the scene. We ready? The princess cries, so I'll take one. First shot, Jess, yes, you just start going, uh... Thou shalt not pass. Not yet. I need this three shot. What? I might kick you on go, accident. Go, go, Help! Help, assassin! Save me! OK, OK. Was that not, was it not believable? What do we do? My bad. Forgot to press record. I want this movie to be great for River, but I think it's about time for Jeff to take it down a notch on the whole director thing. You'll never get Help! away. Help! You'll never get away. Good, good. Yeah! It's not like we're professional actors, especially Phil. I'm not sure if he even knows what's going on right now. Ready, go. Thou shalt not pass. Yeah, not yet, Dad. I think it's about time for Spielberg Robertson to wrap it up before I lose all feeling in my arms. Does that hat stink? Right, and so I can slap Martin. Cut! Ridiculous. All right, moving on. All right, so we're on break. Wow. We got about three more scenes to shoot. Thou shalt not pass. Hold on, Dad. I hadn't started recording yet. Where is our house? I think that's it. Well, like the rest of it. It looks like a bunker. Marriage is like a house. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now that John Luke is married and graduated high school, he's officially leaving boyhood and entering manhood. I mean, where are we going to stay? We're all supposed to stay here. There's not even a bathroom. We got leaves and stuff, so. Gross. Which is why Corey and I left it up to him to set up his new house just outside of the Liberty campus. The email said it should be here. John, did you know it wasn't going to be done? You can read the email. Let me see. It's not here. It said the house would be delivered. They have to put it together. I don't get it. It's not, yeah. It, this is going to be a while. On the bright side, we don't have to help him move in and decorate. School starts, like, very soon. We don't have a house. What are we going to do? You can just live on love. No, we need a house. But we should probably revisit the whole entering into manhood talk. Look, all you need is a good, strong tarp. Jace. This will probably be the best thing that ever happened to your marriage. No. But they're newlyweds. They need a few little luxuries. We can just stay in the piece that's here. We're not living here. There's bears. If a bear shows up, kill him and eat him. <laughs> and then tan his fur and use it for a garment. Yeah. No, that n terrible no. idea. Look at the view. Look at the wood. You can live off the land here. That's OK for a night, but I have a feeling this might be a while. Oh, no. Hey, bear weighs 400 pounds. You can eat on him for about a month. <laughs> Not with no refrigerator, you can't. Oh, yeah. Salt him down. Mary Kate's a brand new Robertson. We got to ease her in. She married a Robertson, hey. The girl already knew what she was in for. All right, look. Maybe we just go see if we can find a condo or something by school. Let this finish. It's just like my marriage. A house is something you care for. Actually, this has not, because this was, this was just poorly planned. So. It was a miscommunication. There you go. It was a miscommunication. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. So next time, before we drive 1,500 miles, we need to know more about where we're going. That's right. Communicate next time before we take a road trip. All right, everybody know what they're doing. Galwin, you remember your line? Huh? Whatever. All right, let's do our slate. Take four. Lily? Action. I'm the president of the United States, and assassin, you need to go save the princess. You're not the president. You're just a ghoul. Hey, OK, what let's stick to the script, about? OK, kids? OK, now I'm going to go save mama. No, we're not princess. saving mama. We're saving the princess, OK? I need to save the princess. 
You'll never find a brat's ass. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot him with your laser guns. Wait, 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 wait. I said wait. I caught him. All right. What? Dude, there's two of you. Doesn't make sense. There's two of me. Yeah, you got to throw it out and not be seen. Let me switch it to slow-mo. OK. Action. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you did that, dummy. Your head fell off. And your pants slid down. No! That was terrible. You ever think about how something's going to look in your head, and then you try to make it happen, and it goes nothing like what you imagined? That is basically my entire experience of trying to make this movie today. Is this dummy supposed to be Godwin? Well, it was the best thing we could find on such short notice. He's way too skinny. That's not enough. Well, you know the camera adds 10 pounds. Yeah, we need to add 100 pounds. We're talking about Godwin here. He's really, <laughs> really fat. <laughs> He's right out there. Good job, Godwin. It's like having a five-year-old try to draw you. He might get a few things right, but in the end, it's a bunch of squiggly lines, some jacked up eyes, and one leg's way longer than the other one. Plus, his pants fell down, and it's showing off his little sheeny. It's just weird looking. It is weird. And the head has to explode on contact. It's the whole point of the scene. That is Godwin's prop double right now. It's a jacked up mess. Take six. Ah! I think we're going to have to do another take of that. Take seven. Go. No! Reset. Ah! No! Reset. No! Cut! It's like no matter how many times we drop it from the roof, we just can't put it out of its misery. All right, let's reset. Come on, back to one. Here's your arm. You'll pay for this, assassin. Grab his head. Take him back inside. I'll get a part of his head. Let's do it again. Ew, gross. Uh-oh, I broke something. See you, Dad. Or should I say, director? I'm going to tell you a little bit about Liberty. We've got. 14,500 students to take classes here on campus, and we've also got... How long is this tour? Well, to see everything that Liberty has to offer, we usually spend about three hours on a tour. Three-hour tour. Oh, we can't do no three-hour tour. What do you mean? Hey, haven't you ever seen Gilligan's Island? What? No. I apologize for him. Hey, right, look, don't apologize. Sorry. That's a sign of weakness. Hey, look, let me tell you something, OK? Education? That's a total waste on these young people. Yeah, I'd like to learn good. more about the school, so can we just, like, keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Lead the way. Good thing. Lead the way. Why do they get all the good stuff? Hey, how about get a job and work for a living? OK, we're here to learn about the campus, so okay. right. what about y'all? Do y'all have any more questions that you want to ask I got a question. Them? Is there a phone in every room? Everyone has cell phones. Except me. You might find this hard to believe, but hey, yours truly, I never graduated from college. Can I bring Sweet Pea with me? Who is Sweet Pea? That's my cat. She probably couldn't live in the no, can't dorm. Live. No pets. But hey, if I go back to college, hey, it's party time. Hey, y'all got a taco here? A taco? taco? Yeah. A single taco? Yeah, a single taco. Your cat yeah. eats tacos? Sweet Pea eats anything. He's like a goat. Uh, Can you tell hey, me? Hey, what about a... an ice machine? Can you take that him somewhere, way, please? I can go from building to building when I need an ice refill. I'm not sure if you could bring your tea to class. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh, no. Deal he's out. No. Uh -oh. That's it. He's this out. Go, no, I ain't out. This goes where I go. All right, so it's looking like you're not going to be no, able to be a student trouble. here. It's looking trouble for this university, OK? All right, how about this? Y'all keep going with the tour, okay. and me and Si will meet you at the yes, end. Yes, that sounds like an awesome yeah, idea. Good idea. All right, well, we'll see y'all at the end of the tour. If there's any paperwork to do, y'all do the paperwork to admit me. I'm going with them. Okay. Well, I'll show you the resident. Thank you so much. Have y'all got any open mic nights around here? We sure do. Hey, it's party time. Hey. Your name? Corey. Corey, we talked on the phone. Yes. Yes, hey. Hi, John Luke. John Luke, hey. Mary Kate. Mary Kate. Hey, I'm Willie. Well, hey, my name's Obey. I'm the resident assistant here on the Residential Commons 1. So because John Luke and Mary Kate's home is not ready yet, and they literally have nowhere to stay, 
We are checking out the dorm situation on campus. Did you say obey? Yes. We almost named John Luke Trust. Obey. Mm-hmm. You would think Willie would be on his best behavior considering this is John Luke starting a new school, making new friends, trying to find a place to actually live, but no, it would be actually strange if he made it the whole day without embarrassing his son. One of our rooms isn't ready. We have another room available. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, All right, yeah, we'd love, love, we'd love to check it out. Yeah, well, let's obey do that. what you say, Obey. All right, let's do it. What do you say? I just hope we can find something for John Luke and Mary Kate on such short notice. Preferably something with a roof and walls. Oh, this is great. This is well, awesome. Is that a closet? Well, look at this fancy thing. I don't even think I could fit in this. A closet. little small. Two beds, bunk style. We have two desks, two dressers, two closets. Do you not have any rooms that have like a queen bed or a full bed or? No, it's usually just the, the twin. Do you sometimes people like sleep two to a bed? Like yeah. if it's like oh, two spoons fit in a tray of these, like that. Uh, not usually. Guys are not. Mary Kate, maybe y'all could just bring the mattress down and put them on the floor. That way y'all could sleep yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. Sleep together. Wait, wait, wait. We really can't have co-ed living on this floor. So, yet. so, so, wait, like, so, wait, so, is this just for we, girls so, or boys? This is for boys only. It's... Moving off to college was supposed to be John Luke and Mary Kate's first big step towards being full-fledged adults. Unfortunately, John Luke blew this one. We're married. Yeah. So they can't both stay here. No. Unless Mary Kay wants to get a short haircut and wear some dude clothes, I gotta be honest, I got nothing. Yeah, this is just for two guys. Have you ever seen She's the Man? No. But John Luke is a man now. He should be able to figure this out. Do I look like a guy? I mean, it wouldn't be perfect, but I mean, you could pass. John Luke! And I should really stop overestimating John Luke. This is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Thank you for your help. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah. Sorry. I cannot believe you were gonna turn me into a boy. You would have been a hot guy. Tell Luke. Good job, buddy. All right, guys. Fire up. This is the finale. This is the fireworks. This is where Jean Claude Van Damme goes. Uh... Uh, blood sport? Uh, yeah. Remember that cat that threw that stuff in his eyes? Remember that? Chung Lee. Oh, Chung Lee? Yeah. Kumite. Does everybody kind of know your roles? Mom, you're the first one to die. You got to think like Shakespearean. Like... I'm going to melt. That's a difference. Well, you just, just die. Just do it kind of naturally. Just let it flow out. You can cry if you want. Well, I should have been a good person. I'm not that evil. Mom, but he wanted you to be evil, you know. Okay, I'll try. Put a little effort into it for his birthday. <gasps> okay. Uh, you just look crazy. Well, but that's that can good. be kind of evil, too, crazy one. Okay, Martin, what do I've, you got? I've got a question. Is the assassin going to attack the director and take his pants back? Let me talk about my pants. Martin? River's gonna punch you in the gut. What? Gut shot. I used to shoot the hunting videos for Duck Commander back in the day, so I know how to shoot a story and ducks. Dad, you got the one line, remember? So what do you say? You can't. Thou no shalt. entry, don't go down this road. Thou shalt not pass. Thou shalt not pass. That's close. But this is like trying to put together a puzzle with pieces that don't quite fit together or listen to you when you tell them what to do. Road closed. No one authorized personnel beyond this point. Wrong way. Do not enter. Seats taken. Thou shalt not pass. All right, let's move on. Nonetheless, it's still your job to put the puzzle together. And hopefully in the end, it somehow resembles the picture on the front of the box. Or at least resembles something. All right, we ready? Yeah. Ready? Quit playing with the dog. Save me, assassin! <laughs> yes. Awesome. You're so cute. You're darling. Mom, you can't tell him he's cute. You, oh. you gotta be like... You dirty rat. You dirty rat. Oh, that's You're close. the dirty rat. You're the rat. 
Oh, boy. Okay, that was a weird day. <laughs> no entry beyond this Please, point. Please, wizard. Hold on, right. we gotta do one more take. Dad, this is the final line. I believe in you. Bub, you ready? Action! Thou shalt not pass. Freeze. Oh, I think I got a cramp. Whoops, may not be. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's down. Yeah. He's down. Good death. Victory! Help me. Help me, bub. Help me, assassin. You're the best assassin in the whole wide world. Run, River. Get it out. Good job. With. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, this is taking forever. All right, guys, we could do that better. One more take. Uh, hey, no. Jeff, nah, we're out. Thou shalt not do any more takes. All right, good. Y'all get the tent set up. Kids are in the tents. Adults in the RV. Wait, can I stay in the RV? I'll just sleep in the chair or something. All right, say you can sleep in the RV. That's all we got room for. Sweet. No, I get the couch. Now, Si, you're not sleeping in the RV. All right, then I'll take one of the captain's chair. Either no. Passenger or the driver. No, Si, you're not sleeping in the RV. Well, you he is a, well he's an adult. I'm an adult. Now, you sleepwalk and you snore. And don't forget about the night terrors. So that basically makes you the triple threat of all sleep disorders. So you're out. Fine. I'll sleep out here in the great outdoors and be the pioneer of the Robertson family. OK, me and the bears. Perfect. Like, for real bears? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. for real bears. Like, you really think there are bears? Oh, yeah, there are bears around here. Oh, there are bears here. There are bears. Black bears. Everywhere. I'm not afraid to get eaten by a bear, OK? As long as Willie's with us, hey, all the rest of us have nothing to fear. Because, look, hey, that's a dinner bell standing, ringing, OK? Look, hey, I'm telling you, you're all safe, OK? We got the prime rib over here, OK? <laughs> the bear will choose him first, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. Okay. Get mauled by a bear, okay? Now, that's an entirely different story. Oh, he'll tear you up something fierce, okay? He'll probably even kill you. John Luke ain't got no problem either. He's skinny. But he probably won't eat you. I'm starving. We got some hot dogs? We got some food. All right. I'll get the food. Yeah, I should have known you brought food everywhere you go. He's got baked beans and marshmallows. Then I guarantee you somewhere in there, he's got some ice cream stored away somewhere. We've got good, fresh beans hot off the grill. And I, I say so myself. They pretty good. I'm not going to test that out. So I'm not putting anything inside my body that you have handled, right. looked at, or touched. These are gourmet here, I'm telling you. What are we going to do about a house? Well, I think we got an idea. We're going to leave the RV here, and you guys can live in it till the house is built. And we're going to fly home. Well, this is really going to help your marriage. Yeah. Some, sometimes you need a little adversity. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But if you die, all bets are off. OK. You're not helping. Right. What do you mean? I think we can do it. You pretty much have no other choice. <laughs> Now we have time, we can stop back through Nashville and see Colt's show. Yeah. Yeah. Who's in? Fine. I'm in. All right, John Luke, you're going to drive us to the airport, and then you can come back, set it all up. All right, boys, let's leave this dump. Sa, si, this is not what? a dump. This is John Luke and house. Well, I mean, hey, it was a figure of speech, OK? Sa. Si. Royal flight. Now, look. I got some friends of mine in the house. Duck Commander is in the house tonight, baby. Really. These people want to see you up here. Y'all make some noise. What's going on? What's up? So I'm going to tell y'all something. Cy si said he wants to be in the record business. He even got a new name for himself. He loves playing cards, y'all, so he calls himself Royal Flush. I'm gonna just let you do your thing. I'll be back here. Look here, okay? I normally sing, but in honor of this man right here, I'm gonna try to rap. I think you got it. Cue up that music, boys. Hey, 
my name is Roy Floyd, and look, they call me that because look, I'm a poker playing fiend and king. The dealer deals out two cards to Mr. Fox. Cy has been going on and on about his music career for the entire trip. And now that he's on stage, I have to admit, he's got some sort of watchable quality, like a car wreck on the side of the road. The fly pit the board, and they say squeeze. I guess sometimes you just have to slow down and listen to a senior citizen rap about a poker hand. Royal Flood, you got a squeeze. I done flopped the stone cold nuts. I may regret this, but I also don't want to hear about it for the rest of my life. Damn one time. Hey. So, look out, Jack. <laughs> oh, shake it, baby, shake Oh, my goodness. Look at them legs. Oh. I'm done. All right. Look at your royal flush out. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, I want to thank y'all for participating in the movie and just, you know, supporting arts. I thought it was Rivers, maybe. Yeah, me too. We did something really cool um, that River will remember the rest of his life. I know I will. And, you know, I think you had a great director. Um, a humble one. I'd like to kind of give a special thanks um, to the people who's inspired me. Um, Steven Spielberg. Ah. Um, Okay. Any Denzel movie, I love them all. Okay. Um, JCVD. Who's uh, that? Jean Claude Van Damme. Bloodsport. I mean, that that's really. I think that's really kind of what inspired this whole thing. What about us? Your kids, your mom. You guys and I. did did pretty good. But I mean, Chung Lee was like the best bad guy ever. Kumite. I'm proud of everybody that worked on this movie today, especially myself. I'd like you to uh, sit back and enjoy the director's cut. It's just a home movie. What are The Assassin. You taking this thing to Sundance or something? If anybody doesn't like it, they're just not sophisticated. But this movie is freaking awesome. Mostly due to an awesome writer and director. And my family did an OK job. Jeff, we knew you had it. I've told myself that many a night. When you were younger, we thought it was just weird. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> this is like a regulation viewing, ain't it? Here we go. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. 20, 30, Why have you got it 80. in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody used their thesaurus. A devastating nuclear war has left the human race under. Oh. At what point was I a robot? This is a reading movie. The super hot princess. What? <laughs> it's still got words coming up. Hyper karate. Hyper karate, I made that. Did up. you film any action? Laser punches. This... <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, what is... how much, bro? Is this uh, it? Is Are you gonna show good? the footage or is this a novel? Hey son, you gotta build up here. <laughs> still right. Oh boy. Ready? <laughs> The assassin! Oh. That's what it says. That just hits you in the help, teeth right there. Help! Help, assassin! You're the only one that can save me! He help, can't save you help, now! No! Help, help, you'll never get help, away! Help. Ah, you'll never get away! You're never getting away! What's up with your boy? <laughs> I'm the president of the United States, and it says that you need to go save the princess. I'm here to save the princess. You'll never find a princess! Oh! oh, oh. Laser beam! Yes, yeah, oh. 25. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh
Oh, there's your hero. Oh, good grief. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that round I off. wish I could do a yes. cartwheel like that. Woo! You dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty rat. rat. Super pump. Oh. He missed on that one. <laughs> Oh, no. Bring it, you assassin. Get in. Get in. Oh! Oh! Thou shalt not pass. Bring! Oh! Yes! <laughs> hey, hey, look, look me, <laughs> Help me, assassin. Watch your super speed, buddy. You're so oh, fast, you got some remember? In there. Thanks, assassin, for saving me. Oh, you... Oh. I love you. Oh. Lay <laughs> <laughs> down when you're down. Good job, yeah, buddy. That's so good. I get credit for that. Everybody's Jeff Robertson. Hey, Lily's there. Oh, oh really? There's Lily in there. And Jeff, based on a dream. I thought it was River's dream. And the stars of the show are the last thing you see. Mm. Oh, yeah, by the way. These guys. These guys were here. All I can say is you're welcome. For what? You're welcome. We helped you make this. At least I don't have to worry about being in the sequel. Thanks, Dad. It was more writing than it was picture showing. So what did you think? It was awesome. Thank you, wow. buddy. That's who matters right here. <laughs> it's very own movie. I think we should watch it again. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. We're good. I second we're good. that, Merritt. Go past all that reading part. Lord, we thank you so much for River. He's a great kid, great son, and a good brother. Lord, I also pray for John Luke and Mary Kate traveling. And, uh, Bob, can you say your prayer? Dan, and thank you for my friends. Amen. 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 One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Let's get on Yay. this dog on pizza. I'll tell you one oh, thing. I'll tell you. Hey. Hey. We've been fortunate as a family to have the chance to take part in so much. From hunting trips to concerts, we've really been blessed with some unique experiences. But seeing my own son grow up, get married and start college is really all a proud father could ask for. And while I'll always be there for him, I look forward to seeing how he does on his own. Hopefully with a fully constructed home in the near future. I call it toast to good living. Living off love. And beans. So, Reed, are you nervous? Um, I'm a little bit nervous. It's funny, I can sing in front of people and just not even care at all, but my stomach is nuts. I'm nervous. <laughs> I just wanted to go off without problems. Oh, we've put too much planning into yeah. this. <laughs> The kids and I are here with Reed in New York City because he is about to propose to his girlfriend, Brighton. I liked Brighton since eighth grade, and I liked her ever since. We were, like, best friends. I was friends and so hard, and I was, like, the, the best friend that had a crush on, you know, like, in the <laughs> <That's> movies. <true. laughs> I can't wait for this to be over. Unless she says no, then the plane ride home might not be too much fun. She has no idea. None. He's just praying that she says yes. <laughs> I just right? want it to be good for her, you know, because I could just do it at the house, you know, like, hey, let's get married, you know, like. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, look, in the backyard would be more romantic than how Jay's proposed to me. Yeah. No, 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 but... it's got to be better than that. So it's Christmas Eve. Jay springs into the front room of his grandparents' house to give me my present. And it's a potted plant. And he says, dig around in the dirt. Your presence in the pot. Brighton will have this memory and read for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Just like I have the memory of my proposal <laughs> from Jay's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a little annoyed, but I start digging around and I feel something. So I pull it out and it's a box. So I open it up and of course it's an engagement ring and I'm stunned. And he says, well, you're gonna marry me, aren't you? And that's our proposal story. 
it's funny how everything is just kind of like working to perfection almost. It's almost good, too good to be true. I don't want to well, jinx it first. I think I can see how God is working. Jason and I got married so young. I was still in high school. Even though it was hard, I know that God put him in my life at that time. And so I feel the same way about Reed and Brighton. Thank you for always supporting me and everything. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Mm. Can't cry because then Brian will be like, what the heck? Too late. I'm redoing my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, today is the day. At any moment, Reed's proposing to Brighton. But I have the perfect idea for what he should do. It ain't what you've done, is it? No. Okay, but good. It's kind of taking what I did and making it better. Oh, good grief. I realized where I could have made it better. While my proposal had many great qualities, you know, I took the ring, I buried it in a little potted plant. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. It was not the most romantic proposal possible. Mine was not good either. My engagement story was awesome. We were at mom and dad's and we're sitting there laying on the bed and I was just like, why don't we just get married like tomorrow? So she was like, all right. That's it? Hey, there you go. There's a man who knows what to do. You hey, like you that? Marry me? Short, sweet, to the point. But after hearing these guys and their less than stellar proposals, I took Paula square hunting. I have the greatest proposal in this duck call room. Me and one went to the restaurant. I said, hey, we gonna get hitched or not? Yeah. And she said, no. Eight hours later, she finally said yes. <laughs> Eight hours later? Yeah. Was later. this a proposal or was this an interrogation? It's a shock that any of these guys are married. There he is. Reed? Hey, Dad. Have you asked her yet? No, I haven't. We're, we're going to in um, probably about 45 minutes. Uh, look. I got an idea. Oh, no. I know this will work. I'd love to hear this. <laughs> Go by metal detector. No. Nope. No. No. Go to Central Park and dig a hole. Might find a body. That'd burn everything. It would. Put the ring in it. What's your deal with Barry and stuff? No, I'd rather not start a tradition of digging in the dirt. <laughs> Jace has tried to convince me for the last 25 years that his proposal was a work of art. So it's still like a flower pot proposal, just the flower pot got bigger. <laughs> this is a flower pot? This is Central Park! Jace is either the Vincent Van Gogh of marriage proposals... Dig a hole. ...or he's just a stubborn redneck who made his then-girlfriend dig in a pot of dirt. But at least there was a ring in it and not an ear. Move on, move on. All right, well... I love you. Be strong and courageous. All love right. you too, Bye, Dad. babe. I hope it works out. Yes, sir. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, I tried. Digging in the dirt? Really? Who doesn't like to dig in the dirt? Um, adults. Was yeah. there ever pirates in New York? Y'all are missing my point. You here. might find treasure before you find the ring and get rich. I didn't even get to the end of it. You lost me at no, digging in the right. dirt. Women won't an innovator. They want a pioneer. Pirate? No. They want a pioneer. Hey, speaking about that, you got you guys got an innovator right here with y'all. What in the world? What is that? I ain't quite got the the band worked out on it yet, boys. Yeah. Camouflage your beard. You snapped. A what? Done. You're done here. He no. Gone. No, I ain't done what. I got a meeting at 3 o'clock with Willie. Willie's not going to like that. Sure he'll like it. No, he's not. Did look, you buy hey, that T-shirt? Look, to make an omelet, you got to crack an egg. <laughs> I tell you, I'm an innovator. Yeah. You're something. Dad, do you know anything about bell curves? Well, there's a certain curve in business that will curve. Somehow it curves. So, since you're so good at business, my teacher said that if we get a local business person to come speak in class, then we get extra credit. And that would be awesome because I really need it. 
When do they want me to come? Tonight. Sadie, why don't you give me a little heads up here? Yeah, but... Y'all need to take a class on scheduling. Business 101, set up a schedule. Well, we still good for our 3.30? Can we um, do it tomorrow? She had a meeting with me schedule. You just said scheduling is like key to business. Yeah, so, yeah come on, bring it in. Why is Godwin in my office? Why is he setting up an mm. easel? That's part of the presentation. I don't have time to hear. Have you ever wondered why when we're duck hunting, I'm not killing much? I think it's kind of obvious. You can't shoot, you no, can't see, that, look, and you hey, can't hear. Just to help the sales pitch, OK, it works better when you say yes. Well, that's not a sales pitch. Look, the answer is yes. If you're giving a sales pitch, you can't tell me what to say. Have you ever wondered why I'm not killing any ducks when we're duck hunting? Sir, si, I never think about that. I knew you was wondering. Si. The reason is they're seeing this white beard. I'm sure it is. Look, time or sign around. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Beard of Flodge. Beard of Flodge. Hey, like many geniuses, OK, my brilliance is underappreciated. Willie's never jumped on board about any of my ideals in the past. Help me help you make some big money. Si. Every time I touch this, all I hear is cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Look, I pitched plenty of brilliant ideals, OK? For example, pitch perfect. He taped a microphone to his cat. And who can forget Parmesan Wayne? Parmesan Wayne? It was a cheese grater shaped like a cowboy. All right, actually, that's kind of a good idea. The Hey K-47. The Hey K-47 was supposed to fire any time you said, hey. Hey! I mean, if Fat Albert came on TV, everyone had to duck for cover. Hey. Do you want my opinion? Hit me with it. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my no, life. No, you're not thinking this through. No, I didn't even tell you the best part. You know what this is made out of? You better not have cut up one of our shirts to do that. One of them? No, look, this was the prototype. It took me 10. Are you kidding? Look, you got a warehouse full of free T-shirts, They're okay? not free T-shirts. No. I buy look, them. Look, we're going to make a bunch of money it on this. It takes money to make yeah. money. Double. It takes money to make money. You should say it tonight. Do not forget that. Well, Every what y'all got going on tonight? Nothing. It's a thing for my class. Like, Sadie. we're supposed to get a businessman to come in, and so Dad's doing our business. Oh, he's doing call. the lecture? Yeah. Sadie. I I'll be there. Never tell him any future plans that you have. Well, look, I'm trying to start a business here, so I, I might learn something from what you got to say. Never tell him where you're going. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, thank you. I'm not interested. Yeah. Come on, guy. Well, we got to go to work on some more shirts. Do I not make cut any more of my T-shirts. Hey, I'll see you tonight at the business class. I might actually learn something. Okay, Reed, we're gonna go change real quick. I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Right, hurry. All right, love you. Love you too. Dear Lord, uh, thank you for this day that you've given us. And um, Lord, I just pray for um, mine and Brighton's marriage, Lord. And I pray that we always we always make it through and we always rely on you for everything we need, Lord. And um, thank you for everything that you've given us. And um, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You ready, man? This is it. I'm ready. The plan is we're gonna pretend to take family photos in the park. We are now walking to Central Park for the proposal. Stay tuned for stay, more news. Stay tuned for more happy, exciting news. My heart is pounding out of my chest. We've got a photographer set up so she doesn't expect anything. We just want to get a few pictures, yeah. so. Let's kind of get a big group photo right okay. here. Yeah. A group one? Yeah. I'm going to ask Brighton to turn around and point at a building to take a picture. And when she turns back around, I'll be on one knee. I'm so nervous. So do you want to do a couple smaller groups? Yeah, Reed, you should get one with Brighton. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. The lighting is awesome. OK, thanks. OK, okay wait, Brighton. OK, I want to take a picture of you. Turn around and like, turn around and like, like point that way. OK, it's good. You can turn it back around. Reed. Right. Will you marry me? Yes. Yay, I love y'all. You should be. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> OK, now I think we're all crying. <laughs> yeah. Jace, you heard anything yet? 
Nope. Hmm. It takes a while to find buried treasure. There he is. Right. All right, here, here we go. go. Right. Reed. Hey, Dad. All right. Go ahead and break it, Tim. <laughs> All right, she said yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Brighton, he could not have done better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, well, I'm happy for y'all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Love y'all. Love you, too. Love you. All right, bye. 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 I noticed you said that Reed couldn't have done any better. Do you think Brighton could have? Boy. No. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A small part of me is actually regretting the fact that I'm missing what's happening in New York City. And even though Reed didn't go with my idea about the metal detector, his proposal was pretty awesome. You thought you got rid of a son. Nope. All you've done is gained a daughter in law. I gained a daughter in law. They're moving in your house. Now, once they sign the dotted line, my financial obligation is. Just getting started. Yeah, it's right. No, it's done. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's done. <laughs> I guess it is possible that proposing on a bridge in Central Park is better than digging in a pot to find your ring. Okay. When I proposed to Missy, it could have been a little better. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I'm going to throw a party when they get back. It'll be a surprise party. See, now you're thinking. The last party I planned was probably back in the early 80s. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to make you feel old, but I wasn't even born in the early 80s. <laughs> <laughs> the 80s was just a blur for me. Hey guys, I'm Willie Robertson, and it's an honor to be invited to come back and share a little wisdom with you about business. One of the most important things about business is actually selling a product. So, uh, do I have any volunteers to sell me something? Sadie, thank you. Come on down. <laughs> okay. Sadie, I have here an eraser. Okay. Why do I okay. need that eraser? It's durable, it's affordable, and it's the best eraser you will ever come across. I just don't think I need that eraser. Okay. No, 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 no. Do not take no for an answer. You're gonna refuse to hear no. Okay. Um, actually, new data suggests that the time spent trying to change a no to a yes can actually um, equate to a sizable opportunity cost. <laughs> Look, it turns out old Willie's wasting everybody's time, all right? But hey, yours truly, I'll fix it to fix that. Somebody's been Googling stuff. I don't think that I agree with that. Si, what are you doing up here? Do you want to buy this eraser? I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I do. I si. need this eraser. Hey, I'm fixing to give these students a real life lesson in sales. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. Unless the question is has there ever been a better product than beer to flies? And the answer to that is, no! So hey. I'm the teacher, hey. and I'm telling Actually, you... Actually, I'm the teacher. Let's hear him out. What we need is beer to flies. I'm going to sit down. So si, nobody wants to hear this yeah, idea. Hello, students. My name is Cy si Robertson. I'm an inventor. He's got the entrepreneurial spirit. And look, I'm looking for investors to invest in my uh, beer to flies. And if anybody wants to buy this one, look. You're on thirty nine ninety five. dollars Because look. I've got a warehouse full of T-shirts. I, I can make another prototype. Si, what? You do not have a warehouse full yeah, of T-shirts. Yeah, oh, sure I do. Here, there's 20 bucks. I just bought this. We're done. You can sit down. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, are there any more questions? Sa. Si. How do you manufacture 1,000 is just what I just told you? Oh! oh. Whoa, that cold. All right, are there any more questions? Do I still get extra credit for this? Willie, I'm gonna give you one more chance to come on board with me. All right, I'll give you $100, but I want 51% of the company. <laughs> You've lost your mind. I can't give up that much equity. Say, do you want to buy it? That doesn't really apply to me, though. I can't. Yeah, but look, I'm gonna make Women, yo, hey. You just said I'm gonna make women hey. Okay, I'll do $101 for 51%. Boy, the lemons don't fall far from the tree. 
deals off. I'll just keep my company in tight. When I'm a millionaire, y'all can borrow money from me. So I get the text that Missy, Reed, and Brighton are almost home. Hey, guys, they're pulling into the driveway. All right, I'm going to get them and bring them out here, all right? all right? Usually, when I'm hiding and waiting to surprise something, I'm fixed to put that on the dinner table. But this could be pretty fun, too, and a little nerve-wracking. Hallelujah. We are home. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You got, got it. I got hey. it. I got it. Hey. You did it, Brighton. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Mostly, they're probably going to be impressed that I planned a party at all. You come out here. I want to show you something. Say love. Babe, I need to. Wow. Wow. I'm legitimately shocked that my dad threw us an engagement party. He's really not the party type or the surprise type. Did y'all know? You didn't know? No, we didn't know. Oh, Daddy did good. Yeah, just wait. He might have us dig up the cake from the backyard. Everybody gather up here. I got a little presentation. And what I need everybody to do, everybody, including you, Si, is close their eyes. Keep your eyes shut. All right, you can open your eyes. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Baby. Reed taught me something throughout this process, and I realized that my original proposal, don't cry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> my original proposal could have been better. So, after 25 years, I love you. Will you give me another 25? <laughs> yes. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> you said yes. Oh. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Reed. <laughs> <laughs> you took me totally off guard. Well, that was the plan. For you to plan all of that, for Reed and Brighton, and then for me. <laughs> hey, babe, that's every girl's dream, to look down and see their man on one knee. I was bearing my soul there, so it, was, it wasn't easy. So now maybe we can quit talking about my original proposal. I made that right. <laughs> deal, that's a deal. It's a key thing in marriage, you gotta make adjustments. So I made one. Thank you, thank you. Right. <laughs> I've been married to the same woman for 25 years, and I'm happier now than I was at any time in the process. Thanks for saying yes. All right, let's pray. Father, we love you. We're so grateful for all the things you do in our lives and all the blessings. And uh, right now, we're just grateful for Reed and Brighton and the relationship that they have begun. And Father, we ask you to bless them throughout their marriage. Through Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's eat some ribs. All right, let's get on those ribs. Right. The great thing about a family as big as ours is you learn a lot from multiple generations. While it's a ridiculous idea, I have to admit, Sa si taught me you're never too old to create something new and different. And even though Reed is just now getting engaged, I think he taught Jace a thing or two about romance. Or at least that digging through the dirt of a potted plant to find your engagement ring ain't exactly romantic. I'm, I'm completely surprised. How'd this happen? The more I started thinking about Reed's proposal, I thought, my proposal was pretty weak. I made you get your hands dirty. <laughs> I've never heard you admit this before. I know, it just kind of hit me. I don't know. There, you got barbecue in your beard. Get it. Mmm. Barbecue flavored lips. Oh, here we go. You know, that's probably just hurting you. Oh, yeah. You should just stick to the floor. Do you do a lot of stretching? Not really, but when I do, I don't do that. I mean, what kind of sick mind would put a pole that high and then put mirrors all around? I don't think they had you in mind when they made this room. Oh, man. Yeah. Here's the main problem is I can't get this leg off here. Oh, my oh, goodness guys. gracious. Are you serious? <laughs> all right, lift just one inch. Ready? Go. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Chase, that is sad. I'm sorry. I know that you're Whoa. older, but that is sad. So Reed and Brighton are getting married, and really the only thing that anyone is nervous about is Missy's dancing. My, no. Well, OK, yeah, maybe a little bit, but more of your dancing. I can dance. No, you I, can't. I think whenever you take lessons, then you're opening yourself up for potential disaster. That makes no sense. Do we want to practice slow dancing and fast dancing? Slow dancing is you basically just hug and move. I mean, you could do that. That's that's good. That's acceptable. But there's also slow dances like the rumba. And like the rumba? The rumba. The rumba. It's only known as the sexiest dance out there. Woo, rumba. No, I mean, we didn't even dance at our own wedding. That's why I'm a little nervous. We're just not dancers. Did we not dance at our wedding? We had cake, punch, and we hit the road. Oh, well, that's because I was in a hurry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. This is the easiest dance that you can possibly do. Uh, it goes slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. I'm not sure I can do that. It's so easy. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. All right, babe, come on. Technically, we did dance. It was just after. OK, the anyway, we just need a few moves so that we don't embarrass ourselves. I'm never going to be embarrassed over this. Uh, so that you don't embarrass me. OK, bye. Quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, 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 slow. Oh, I'm rolling now, baby. <laughs> Look at this. That was really good. OK, now this time when you do it, turn this way a little bit. I got it now. <laughs> you look a little stiff. What's he doing here? I told you all I wanted this in private. I'm here to pick Sadie up. I didn't know she was trying to teach Frankenstein how to dance. <laughs> Not all of us can jiggle just by breathing. <laughs> you look like Forrest Gump before the leg shackles fell off. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, we got some time. I can wait. Oh, great. Oh, Dad, do you want to dance? I don't have a partner. Yeah, show us your moves. I'll just watch. <laughs> I'm not dancing in front of a heckler. Here's a pro tip. Try bending your legs. I'm working on the sequence right now. I haven't <laughs> yeah. put the rhythm in it. I got yeah. style and I got rhythm. I got that part. Well, let's see what you have on your own. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Don't breathe through your butt. A little slide on the floor, see? <laughs> little arm movement. Some stellar stuff you got. Yeah, you look like you're trying to step into a super freezing cold bath. He's sweating through his shirt. Oh, Can't work in disgusting. these conditions. Oh, Dad, look at you have tea underneath there. That is, huh? that is gross. <laughs> That's like dirty sweat. It's an old shirt. When I walked in the health club, it made me nervous. I started sweating. Oh. And he's making fun of me. That's so gross. Hey, I know how to dance, bro. You're sweating. So Jay's tell you about his new little hobby. What is it? Miming? He ain't miming. He ain't miming? Although he may should have mimed. It was a private moment that you snooped in on. He's taking dad's lessons with Sadie. You should have tried miming. I'm doing this with my wife for the wedding. Yeah, but it'd be a lot better if you was miming. Are you finished? Nope. You should have went with miming. Besides, I'd like to hear you be quiet for a while. Here's the problem with Missy. She wants to go take dance lessons so we won't be embarrassed, but if you didn't take a lesson, you would never be embarrassed. Yeah, because what I saw is embarrassing. Jace looked like Frankenstein out there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was actually pretty good. You cannot teach dancing. You either can dance or you can't. Myself, I'm a natural. A lot of people don't know this, but look, I was on the fast track to becoming a professional dancer before I got the old little letter from Uncle Sam saying, I need you. So look, I traded them my little tap shoes from a combat boot. I'm gonna freestyle. I'm just trying to make her feel better. I don't think your freestyle's any better. I was trying to go quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. What music are you doing it to? Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Thunderstruck? I think you mean quick, quick, slide. No, Sadie said quick, quick, slow. Okay, no, yeah, fine. Right. That's what I figured, yeah. Hey, look, when the music comes on, my body just knows what to do. And I've been told, OK, it is a beautiful thing to watch. All right, Twinkle Toad, show us what you got. We won't put you in the corner. Come to the wedding and prepare for greatness. Nope. No. No, I'm out. Hey, look, if you don't believe me, I'll prove it. Hey, buy me some music back there, idiot. That's the best you got, but OK. Hey. See, I told you, I'm good. 
Okay, and that music was horrible. All right, we all get back to work. I just wanted to let y'all know that Jace had a little hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see y'all later. You got some papers. What are you doing? Stretching. No, go ahead and tell her. You told everybody else. What? Jace is what? taking dance lessons. He looks like an idiot. Aww. I'm taking dance lessons with Missy to get ready for the wedding. Oh, that's sweet. We have a wedding coming up, too. Ooh, yeah. Well, ooh. All right, I got to uh -oh. go. Uh, look, well, make sure. <laughs> yeah, he needs some lessons. We uh, do. We I do. I don't need dance lessons, bro. I can dance. And I can teach you how to break dance. Seriously. Why does everybody think they know how to dance? I really can't dance. I have videos on my phone. I'd uh, blow your uh, mind. Hey, I don't think that I know how to dance. Uh oh, God, has got his moves. I got <laughs> moves. I don't need lessons. You got moves. It's just hard for like me to dance with you because you're kind of like doing your own moves. You got moves. They're just not good. He's got the toe breaker. No, he's got the whiskey barrel stomp. Then he's got the hip yeah. check. Oh, you you do step do on you, your you foot. You do do that sometimes. One time. You're not getting a message, Willie. She's tired of getting hurt when you are dancing. Fine. I'm When's your next like, lesson? Hey. Actually, we have a lesson tonight. Tonight, I've got. We he's will in. be there. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, if you want to take lessons, well, I guess I can. Aww. I mean, it'd probably be for you, but I mean, I... don't throw nothing out there, son. <laughs> <laughs> I may teach Sadie a few moves. Uh oh, oh, oh look, at look at him. Look at him. All right. We'll see y'all at the dance class. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you want to dance lessons? That's what you get for making fun of me. That's why you should keep that stuff to yourself. You should have went with Mimin. You know what I would like to do? Pick her up. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. <coughs> let's start with the that basics. Would be fun. Yeah, let's just start easy. Uh, oh, Willie. Dad. Huh? Do I have to watch this? Where's my camera? I can't stretch. Not in front of people. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay. I don't think that we're going to be uh -oh. dancing that hard. Pull your muscles at your own will, then. If you're going to pull a muscle, you got to have a muscle. Uh, I've seen it happen before. He always stretches. Right, that's why I'm so flexible. Mm. We had no idea what we were doing when it came to dancing at John Wick's wedding last year. No, we had a clue. Mm, we were pretty bad. Corey, I have a natural talent. Ask anyone. Your moves are a little bit more unnatural. <laughs> Let's start with the basics. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Why are you sticking your belly out? Trust me, he's not trying. Why are you doing the extra bouncing? No extra bouncing. Stop bouncing. Stop. OK, don't bounce. Okay. Do not jiggle it. <laughs> If you dance, you should stand out in the crowd. People should go, wow, look at that. I'm not sure about that. Take a survey. No! Oh, my god. If you hit her with that, she's going down. Uh, this is why we don't go dancing very often. That's a lot of jiggling going on. I get a little nervous. Students, I don't know what you're doing. This is called the discovery. Stop doing it. Fish out of water. Oh, Dad, no! Look, stop. Here comes that chicken. <laughs> Okay. There's a prom. This is really weird. Yeah, I really don't know how to help you out. I really don't know what to do with that. I can naturally dance. Uh, no. Where do you think Sadie got it from? Last I checked, you wouldn't dance around the house. That was um... me. <laughs> Time out. I'm gonna be sore after that. Ego. Cabbage patch? Yeah, you can do that, so. Oh, OK, we got See, something See, you bring going. your two moves. See ya. That's what I've been doing. OK, Dad? Huh? You're going to have to last a lot longer than that. I thought we was taking a break. It just hit me. Nobody's going to notice us. You're, you're All right. eyes are going to be right there. Yeah, we have now been taken out of the spotlight. Yeah. How long is this wedding dance? Grab. Y'all are very difficult to help. Maybe we are hopeless. Mmm. Mm. Jace, this was awesome. Oh, yeah. Great. Thank you, babe. I was so hungry for fries. I hear we got Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers tonight. Who's that? Famous actors, dancers. He doesn't know, but no, dance. we're not Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. When I was a kid, I was out in the woods. You do know how to dance. I don't know how to dance, like, professionally. But I do a lot of dancing. No, I've never no. seen you dance. <laughs> Most LSU victories. Every time I catch a frog, I'll dance. Show us a move, babe. Show us a dance move. Yeah. Uh, I'll save it for later. Oh, come on. I can show you the move. Uh -oh. Don't Sorry. hurt yourself. Don't bust the hip. I gave you some moves. Where'd you get your move, Dad? Oh, what are you doing, Larry? Some dangerous moves you got there. Oh, those frogs got you jumpy. <laughs> hey, hey, all right. Kareem! Uh-oh. Dad. Come on, Jace. One thing I've learned about marriage is that one of the most challenging parts are the in-laws. 
Sick moves. This is getting dangerous now. Yeah. Especially if they're yuppies and they're a little goofy. <laughs> 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 you don't get to choose who your in-laws are. They just come along for the ride. Are you really getting married? Hopefully. Are you nervous? Does this make you nervous? Uh, a little bit. You're making me kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love the guy. But until Brighton says I do, let's not give her any reasons to say I don't. Oh, my goodness. Can y'all get me a from cheer, please? Sure. Yeah, we can. Okay, thank you very mm -hmm. much. I appreciate it. Dinner was awesome. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you Bye very much. Bye. There you go. Well, Cole, are you nervous? A little bit. I mean, I do have to give the speech at the rehearsal dinner. Are you ready? I'll wing it. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, that's hey. my son. Babe, what? I'm winging mine. No, you can't wing it. I'm winging this it. This is too important to wing. Babe, I hunt ducks. Winging is... Well, Jace, how long has it been since you've done a wedding? I haven't done a marriage in probably 15 years. I used to do them all the time, and then I had a run. <laughs> four in a row that they got divorced, so I stopped. Well, are you still certified by the state? Well, I don't know. Does that run out? Yeah. You got to do it for this to be a legitimate wedding. It's in two days. <laughs> well, that's it. Wednesday. Uh -oh. No. No, 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 no. Tomorrow is Friday. You can do it on a Friday, right? You got to, like, fill out a form? Yeah, you have to fill out oh, a form. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm kidding. I'll <laughs> fill out the form. I'm a little nervous now. I'll go with you. We get it done. OK, yeah, go I'll... with Dad. He'll get it done for you. Don't worry about it. I got a buddy Wade. He'll get us right in and right out. Pizza cake. All right, fine. How hard can it be? This could be treacherous if you do not get this done. I'll take care of you. <laughs>Is your ceremony coming? Well, I think I'm gonna do a little something about the journey. What kind of a journey? Well, just the journey of life together. You know, when you take somebody's hand and you say, let's do this, it doesn't really matter where you're going as long as you're going together. Oh, that sounds dry. You need, you need to spice it up a little bit, get a little, little levity. I could help you with that. I got a good knock, knock uh, joke. I'm not much yeah, of knock, 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 come on, okay. knock, knock. You really wanna do this? Yeah, knock, knock. Who's there? Dewey. Do we? Who? Do we have to put up with these jokes? Let's get on with the ceremony. <laughs> I just don't think I'm a knock-knock man. You did yeah. get it, didn't you? Oh, I got you it. You got it? <laughs> Uh-oh. It says closed on the door. What? They don't close the courthouse. It ain't even 5 no, o'clock. No, 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 no. Can't be. Huh? It is closed. They can't be closed. Well, this is not good news. Knock-knock. Oh, Larry, I think they're close. Well, let me call Wade. Yeah, call him. He may be in the back, you know. He can't hear us. Yeah, call a Wade. See connection. Uh-oh. His number's no longer in service. When's the last time you talked to him? Not that long ago. I, I, right after the Saints won the Super Bowl. After the Saints won the Super Bowl? Yeah. That's been seven, eight years, Larry. He may not even be alive. Was he an older fella? Yeah. You know him? No, I'm just saying he may be dead. Seven, eight years, a lot of things can happen. Knock, knock. Well, we tried. We're going to have to come up with a plan B here. What do you think Missy will say? She's going to kill us. <laughs> Maybe you could start off, and then I come in, and then you just pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll pick a good one. All right. These are like some of the best pictures you've ever taken. I know. I can't believe I haven't seen this. All right, bad news. Can't do it. What? Courthouse is closed. The guy wasn't there. Really? But the good news is, I'm going to do the wedding for you. This is not happening. I cannot believe this. It'll be great. <laughs> you like knock-knock jokes? What? <laughs> I've got some doozies. <laughs> no. Knock-knock? No. Knock-knock? No. I think I can say a few words. I just can't pronounce you husband and wife. What do you mean you can't do it? What I thought I could do, you know how the preacher always says, if there's anybody here who has just reason why these two people shouldn't be married, and then I stand up. What? No. And I say, the reason why they should be married. That's good. A little levity in and it. Then Larry yeah. pronounces them husband yeah. and wife. Yeah, Everybody's happy. Cool. That's great. I've always wanted to say something. Wait, what are you talking about? Dude? He let his certification run out.
And so he went today to try to get himself recertified. Why didn't you just do it online? Online? You can do it online? Yeah. Why would you be able to do that online? You can do anything online. Are you sure we can do it online? I'm sure there's a get recertified app. First I've heard that. www.getordained.com. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm kidding, but I mean, I'm sure there's a website. Online? I just wouldn't think that you could do that online. You can renew your driver's license online. You can renew your driver's license online? Online? Yes. I bet my buddy Wade doesn't know that. I don't know who Wade is. We don't know is. who Wade is. All right, Larry, I hate to break it. To you. I'm not sure Wade is still with us. Well, I just hope you learned your lesson about waiting to the last minute to do something. If it wasn't for the last minute, nothing would get done. That's when people function at their best. That's what you're going to claim? Yeah. You sure you don't want me to do it? Yep. I've got a natural flair. I can give it some levity. Your dad's too serious. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't know what you're missing. You had one job, yep. and you barely pulled it off. But I pulled it off. <laughs> and I learned a valuable lesson. What was that? I'm reaching the age where I'm learning things from my kids. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. All right, I'm back in. You right. did it that quick? Yeah, I'm about to print it out right now. Nothing to it. Thank goodness. I told you it was going to work out. I don't know what you were so panicked about. Chase Robertson. But now we're official. OK, crisis averted. If you don't stay together, don't blame me. I think I'm good. That was quick. I bet that's why Wade lost his job. Now, how is the dancing going to take place? Who dances first? Who goes when? Well, I think we Basically, dance Basically, they will literally say over the microphone, who dances when? So you have nothing to worry about. There you go, yeah, babe. All true. the pressure is off. I just feel sorry for the people having to dance after us. How about the person who's having to dance with you? Oh, babe, we're going to take the bar <laughs> and we're <laughs> elevating it. Yeah. That bar is going to be twisted. No, man. Just follow my lead. I got this. Reed, right, you're going to be impressed. I think I found my dancing jive. <laughs> Thank well, goodness. Congratulations. I mean, I thought I did pretty good. Missy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job with Reed. And now he's Brighton's problem. Well, I wouldn't say problem. Well, she actually makes him more enjoyable to be around. Agreed. We are so excited to have Brighton join our family. And I have said that if it was my job to pick out a bride for Reed, I could not have come close to what he did. She surpasses all of my expectations, and I'm not going to cry. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, she gone. You did pretty good for them. I did. I did good. And so I thank God for Brighton and for Reed. Reed, focus on ruining the lipstick and not the mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larry, for getting that. The rest of y'all, is this not all? <laughs> what I also like about this process is seeing two families come together. It's kind of like a modern-day Romeo and Juliet. Did you read Romeo and Juliet? I mean, bits and pieces. Yeah, the families don't come together. I was just saying they were deeply in love. Well, that was really sweet. Thank you, babe. Listen, just one piece of advice, and I do mean this with all my heart. Read, tell, write, and every day you love her. This is one of the most beautiful, special young women that I'm so proud to be your mom. And yes, you are one of the luckiest guys in the world, but she is also one of the luckiest girls. When Reed first started dating Brighton, I was a little concerned at first. I did not know how he could ever keep such an amazing, beautiful girl like Brighton when he could barely keep a passing grade in math. <laughs> <laughs> Brighton, as you are stepping into a new chapter in life, make sure sometimes your nose is stopped up because you and I both know that we do not want to smell Reed's farts all day. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one piece of marital advice that I would give Reed and Brighton. Yeah, I'm kind of past the advice stage. At some point, you're going to have to figure this thing out. That's the deal, is figuring it out together and sticking with it, because it's worth it. This is an ordinary love song But don't think that it's not true
We're going to pray to God and then get some rest, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Let's pray. Father, we do want to lift, read, and brighten before you as all of us here tonight unite with one mind and one heart to give all our support their way. So, Father, we ask you to bless them. Amen. 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 According to the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Read. You may kiss your bride. Whether you're newly married or married for over 20 years, you can always learn how to make the bond you share stronger. Like understanding when your husband waits until the last minute to do something extremely important, or compromising when your wife wants to learn how to do something you find completely embarrassing. If you truly listen to each other, you'll have a happy marriage and avoid stepping on each other's toes. Are you a fan of knock-knock jokes? I've got some doozies. I think I'm good. Don't know what you're missing. All right, look, we're almost here. This hole, you hear it buzzing before you get to it. Huh? It buzzes. I don't think that's a good sound, boys. Look, look at them. Look at all of the I bees. know. I see them up there. We're going to think it stung is what's going to happen. Hold on. Let me get up there under this thing. I got it. Si? What? Don't answer my phone. Hello? Si? Hey, your woman sounds upset for some reason. Say what, Missy? What'd she say? There's something now? about your son is broke down on the highway somewhere in a van. He don't have a van. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. Tell her we'll come pick him up after we get finished fishing. Hey, Jay said he ain't got time for you and Reed's problems. I didn't say that. Hey, I'll tell him. Hey, she said you get your butt down there and pick Reed up at the muffler shop. Don't answer my phone again. My son Reed is living in Nashville where he's trying to make it as a musician and a singer. He's coming in because we're having a release party. He's being released from jail? No. <laughs> His record release. What? what I don't know is why he's calling me from a body shop. He's going to sing, we're going to have a concert, and then we're going to get together for the after party. I'm in. Are we eating? Yeah, we're eating oh. good. But I'm pretty sure there were some bad decisions made at some point. What are we having? Well, we're going to cook fish as soon as we get up onto that beehive. No, no. Now, no, listen, no, listen. no, 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 no. No, no, no. Listen to me. Hey. Good grief. Oh, here we go. Well, I'm hit. Uh, he's hit. That's no. it. I'm out of here. I'm taking my pole with me. Hey, Martin, crank that motor up and let's go. I'm thinking to get out here alive, boys. The muffler shop. Let's go check He's back it out. in town. Oh, there he is, right there, boy. There he is. Great. He's changed a lot, ain't he? Good, huh? Hey, yes. Well, you done grown up. You got some new tattoos? Oh, yeah. What is it? It's a compass. I'm a traveling man. That's why I got the van. That's it? Yeah. Is this really your van? Oh, yeah. And you bought it? I bought it. You bought that? Yeah. It's got a dream catcher in it. Whatever you paid for it, I don't even want to Five thousand. Five thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars? I might be a little more green for that. that. I got a steal. Did they tell you there were 3,000 hidden in it somewhere? Hey, look, Reed needs a hippie intervention, OK? Because the last thing you want is a hippie redneck crossover. The hippies are back in town, boys. Hey, you talking about an identity crisis? This boy's going to have one. Next thing it'll be, he'll have flowers in his house and everything he said, it'll be peace, baby. Hey, you want peace? Hey, I'll give you a piece of my mind. Make love, not war. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna slap the fire out of you. Hey, come at me, hippie. I'll give you a little slappy. I think this is the beginning stages of winding up living in a van down by the river. Uh-oh. Hey, man. Do you want the bad news or the worst news? Give it to me. All right. Man, you got a rolling time bomb here. You got some bad wheel bearings. Brake cylinder on the left front is bad. The motor in the back You've got a spark plug that's blown out of the cylinder. The motor's going to have to be replaced. The whole oh. motor? The whole motor's got to be replaced because you run it too hot. How much you're is going to hit him for? You're looking in uh, upwards of about $3,400. dollars 30 <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Come back. Hit me! Beep, beep. Dude, look at that tube. Look at it. It's barely it. hanging on. You can tie a string to it. No. No? <laughs> I bet Willie could pull that thing out. 
Let me snatch that thing out real quick. You better watch out, Willie. Hey. I've been trying to teach River some moves, wrestling moves. <laughs> How cute. I want him to learn jujitsu, but I think he's a little young for that. He should just do wrestling. They have it at the school now. Mm -hmm. Isn't that dangerous? No, it's not like just like yeah, in the backyard. Yeah, teaches discipline. I think it'd be cool. Look. River spends a lot of time with his sisters, so I want to make sure he gets a good dose of boy stuff while he's young. I'd like him to be, like, the perfect weapon. I want him to know MMA moves, wrestling, ninja training. I really want him to learn piano. No. No. It's way down on the list. I'm the perfect weapon. That's what I'm talking about. So I got him on a healthy diet of Seagal and Van Damme movies. River, do you have some moves? He's got the river of pain. It's a kick to the shin. Street mm -hmm. skills, I like that. My goal is for River to grow up just like me. Just your average gentlemanly ninja karate machine. Geesk. My friend Kurt's coming in. He knows all about wrestling. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, he's big time. He can teach him some stuff. That's, That's cool. Yeah. River, you want to start wrestling? You yeah. remember? All right, we'll set up tomorrow. We'll get your first wrestling lesson. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Remember we used to wrestle in the backyard? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, I still have the championship belt. No way. You wanna see it? Yes, I wanna see that. Wrestling was a huge part of our lives growing up. We used to eat, sleep, and dream wrestling. I used to think this belt was the coolest thing in the world. But... Oh my goodness. There you go. Oh, shoot. It doesn't fit you anymore, big boy. Seriously, though. We lost bunk bed privileges because we were using them to perform double axe handles and suplexes. Let me try it on, Willie. <laughs> you had your chance, son. The matches would last days, or at least until Jeff started crying. Would be mine if we wrestled now. No. My bet's on Jeff. No. I want to wear it. You ain't going to wear this sucker. It's not for little pip squeaks. You ain't got enough bands in your little river oh, pants. Get it, Bubba. Get it, River. Get it. Whoa. 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 Oh. 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 River of pain. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, your hair has gotten really long. It's gotten long. So tell me about these um, tattoos. Oh, I got these for free. How? The artist was a big fan of my music, so. Oh. He's grown up, baby. It's part of the I know. process. You just look really different. I'm just having to get used to it. We've always heard other people say, your kids are going to grow up in the blink of an eye. This is the new one right here. It's a harp. You don't play the harp. But to actually see it happen can be sometimes overwhelming. I'm trying to express myself. Oh, you're doing it. It's a lot to deal with, but watching them pursue their dreams, that's what matters. What? He has earrings, too. Oh, my goodness. That and not getting a face tattoo. I don't think I could handle it. I got some new songs that I'm going to play at the record release party tonight. You'll see that I've come a long way, and it's all going to be OK. I'm with you. I'm just saying, the van. What's the deal with your vehicle? I made a really good investment. I'm going to disagree with him on that. What are you talking about? It's a 1969 Volkswagen van. Cool. Mm. It's not cool? It is cool. It is cool. It would be cool if it ran. But it doesn't run. Yeah. It blew up. OK, I think we should just rethink this whole van. <laughs> She go. Every kid makes mistakes when they're growing up. When I was 20, I wrecked my dad's truck. Now, that was just one mistake. But it was really big. I need this to tour around in. I can save tons of money on hotels. It has a bed in it. I can sleep in there. That's what makes us who we are. Dumb mistakes. You can no. sleep in the Walmart parking lot for free. Oh, my goodness. This is making me a lot more nervous. Despite his poor choice in vehicles, I think Reed's going to turn out to be just fine. So what's the plan? You got to fix it. You're the one that bought it. I would have said, Is it safe? Uh, maybe it was built in 1969. Did they have seatbelts back then? No, it doesn't have seatbelts in it. There's some duct tape that's like. What? No. 
Heck no. I but didn't he has have that. a seatbelt, so. Oh, you put that in there? Yeah. Well, now that's being resourceful. Oh, Thank you. no. Where's your buddy, Kurt? He's gone. He'll be here in a second. Oh. Yep, touch your toes. Willie. Uh, what's up? How you there doing, my friend? Is. Oh, it's good to see you. Thank you, man. Willie, it's Kurt Angle. How you doing, Jeff? Dude, you know my name. Oh, yeah, yeah, Willie told me. Huh. Still awesome, though. I told you he was coming. You didn't say Kurt Angle, you said Kurt. Dude, I'm a huge fan. Okay. Not only did you win the gold medal in the Olympics, you were a 14-time world wrestling champion. Yep. Yeah, he knows what he's done. It is so cool that Willie made it possible for me to meet Kurt Angle. My dad has a poster of you. Your dad? Nice. Yes. And for River to learn how to wrestle, of course. Do you mind signing something for me? Sure. Uh, what are the names? It's not for them, it's for me. Oh, good oh. Great. I know everything there is to know about this guy. I mean, not in a creepy way or anything. There you go, Jeff. Yes. I'll never wash it. That's a little weird. Yeah. Kurt Angle is an American hero. And more importantly, he's my hero. All right, so Kurt's going to show these kids a little bit about rest. Oh, I'm the perfect mm. weapon. He just kicked you, man. Yeah, he did. It's called he the River of Pain you. right there. The River of Pain? Yeah, that's his move. We'll show him the River of Pain. I'm going to teach you a, a wrestling stance. I want you to get in a square stance like this. I want you to squat with your legs. Now give me a, a tough face, like a rrr. There you go, good. How cool are his boots? Now I want you to move. Slide step. Uh, where do you get those boots, Kurt? I'm sorry? Where do you get boots like that, the gold? Boots, these are wrestling shoes, man. Um, <laughs> we don't have boots in amateur wrestling. They're just awesome, that's all I'm saying. Jeff, there's Man Crush, and then there's What You're Doing Right Now, which is just weird. I should have known that this would be way too much for Jeff to handle. Hey, guys, time out. Do you like lotion tan, or do you like... Jeff. Is he serious? No, he's not serious. Go ahead. I mean, it's embarrassing, even for Jeff. Hey, Kurt, what you benching these days? How do you move your neck if you broke it five times? How much protein do you take each day in grams? Come on, Dad. You're embarrassing me. He's about one more weird comment away from a restraining order. Or a headlock. Yeah, we uh we wrestled quite a bit when we were younger. For you and Willie? Yeah, like hardcore. You don't wrestle anymore? Nah, he's scared. I ain't grown up now. I'm scared. I'm not I'm not scared. I just hadn't thought of the idea, but Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Are you actually scared? No, really? I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? Nobody in the history of Jeff has ever been scared of Jeff, including me. Well, I'm just thinking, we're in the wrestling sphere. Why don't you put the title up for grabs? Maybe you two could go at it. I don't know. That sounds stupid to me. But I'm a little concerned about injuring myself. My shoulder's kind of messed up. I got a little touch of the tennis elbow. Tennis elbow? Yeah, it killed me. Really? Oh. I want a gold medal with a broken neck. I think you'll be all right. I mean, hey, I used to be the hair. Now I'm entering into my tortoise phase of life. When Kurt says you wrestle, you wrestle. I'm starting to like this guy. I knew you would. Slow and steady wins the race without hurting yourself. What do you think? Two brothers going at it for the tin foil title. All right, I'm in. Jep, you're fixing to get your butt kicked. Oh, God, you little sucker. <laughs> nice kick, River. <laughs> Good job, buddy. The River of Pain strikes again. Welcome to Reed Robertson's album release concert. Y'all fired up? The Rhett Walker Band is here. Mac Powell and his band, they're in town. So without further ado, are y'all ready to hear some music? By Fubo. Go! Reed, come do your thing. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. All right, um, this is a song called I'll Be the One. Through the 
darkness though the night is long if you ever need somebody i'll be the one at 20 years old reed has come a long way i mean i would have never dropped everything and moved to nashville so it scares me a little bit to think about what he's doing and if you lose your way and you can't hold on i'll be right behind that it's gonna take a lot of work to pull this off, and he's ready to do it. So right now, this is what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna have my buddy, Rhett, come back up here. Woo! And we have Matt Powell come up here. Woo! We're gonna sing you guys a song. You're gonna know it, so sing along. Y'all help us out, put them hands together. Come on. Hey, All right, gentlemen, are you ready? The rules are no eye gouging, no biting, no fish hooks, no cages, no chairs, no beard pulling, and no suplexes. What? Do we understand the rules? Yes, Sensei. Hey, we'll just do pro style. All right, gentlemen, when I blow this whistle, the match will start. Are we ready? <laughs> And another two points. He's fighting off his back. He's still not pinned. <laughs> and he kicks out. Oh. Daddy, All right, the score is four to nothing. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Start fighting. One second. I'm gonna... You guys can't be tired already. Come on, guys. With Willie Gas, I think it's the perfect time to serve up a little jump of life. Go, Dad! <laughs> However, I may have got a little ahead of myself when I agreed to fight out of my weight class. Daddy! Oh. But it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. He's done, son. He's done. No! River of pain! <laughs> One, two, three. Ah. Yeah! Ah. Ah. Time out. I got kicked from behind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said you wanted to do pro style. You want it, you got it. That's under protest. Winner. Yes. And new champion, uh, Jeff. I hope those screams haunt you at night. Whew. That was awesome, dude. Boom. I feel like crying, but I'm not going to. Not in front of my kids. Dad. I won't do it, buddy. Not in front of you. But I might later. All right, Reed, come out here. All right. Your daddy and I need to talk to you. Am I in trouble or something? You'll find out. Reed, look, here's the Having deal. a meeting. I'm all for you going on tour and singing. This, this van is the problem. You cannot drive around in an unreliable and unsafe vehicle. I'm just not going to allow it. Well, what am I supposed to do? We came up with a compromise. OK. You want to see? Sure. All right, come let's on. go. Mia, are you coming? Yeah. All right, Ray. Y'all wash the van? I drove it through a car wash. You drove it? New engine, Reed. Whoa. New engine and... Whoa. We changed it from the inside out. 
I always thought when they're 18, my job is done. That is so not true. Wow, this is awesome. We yeah. got you new seat covers. You got new brakes. Sometimes they need you more than ever during this phase of life. Look, guitar, guitar. hook, bacteria-free carpet. It was clean before. No, it wasn't. Don't push yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't clean. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's moments like this that make parenting great. Not only do I get to do what's right for Reed, let me show you my favorite feature. It's new seat belts. These are a little bit better than duct tape. Yeah, I also get to help him pursue his dreams. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks. You're Least welcome. we could do. You're welcome. Hey, I tell you what, in your honor, my next tattoo, I'll get y'all's faces on my leg. No! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one on each leg. One on each cheek. Uh-oh. Ew! Nobody will ever see it but your wife. And that'll be weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, I just want to thank you for my family and how supportive they've been, Lord. And I just want to thank you for my parents because uh, I couldn't do this without them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Let's, let's get on, on it. Let's get on it. Every child grows at a different pace. Some people like Reed grow up fast and move on quickly, while others like Jeff take a little longer to mature and stay mama's boys well into their 30s. Part of growing up is making choices on who you want to be. So whether your kids want to do the things you enjoy, like wrestling, or take their own path and wind up living in a van down by the river, it's important for your children to know that no matter where life takes them, they still have their family to fall back on. Was blind, but now I see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's another song there, hippie man. Well, they're moving on. All right, one more group, and then we got to get out of here. I got to pick up Rebecca from the airport. She's flying in from Los Angeles. Ooh. Rebecca is an exchange student that Corey and I took in about 10 years ago. Well, how long is she staying? John Luke, you know how long Rebecca's staying? Hmm? Never mind. She spent the last two years interning in the fashion industry, and today, she flies back home. She's in for a couple of days, and she's out of here. <laughs> here we are at the beach, taking a family portrait. There's Rebecca. Well, you remember what happened the first time? She's like, yeah, I'm gonna be an exchange student for a year. 10 years later, she's now part of the family. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna welcome her back with open arms. Did get my group text at the party? Uh, no. What kind of party? Like a coming home party, a surprise party, so don't say anything. I'll come to the party, but if you want me to come to the party, don't send me a group text, because then, look, people start talking, and my phone keeps buzzing. All right, here we go. Group texts are the worst. They're like a terrible technological snowball coming down a mountain, and you can't stop it. I'm not into wasting time listening to Tom and Jerry talk about who they think is going to win the Super Bowl. The cartoon characters? I thought there was a guy that put that ice cream. First one person responds, then someone tries to be funny, then we get off the subject. I mean, it'll be midnight, and they're still talking about it. This is... What was the original conversation? No one knows. No one cares. Stop having a conversation on my phone. You can just send one text out. It hits everybody. You sent one to me? Yes. I got the text. Good job, John Luke. I like texts. Group texts. Oh, crap. Here we go. With emojis. With what? What is that? I... Pictures. Emojis? Emojis. Like smiley faces and people and... Yeah, all right. Didn't y'all say y'all had to go to the airport? Animals sometimes. We would hate to see y'all go, but you don't want to be late. All right. John Luke, let's roll. Emojis. Little pictures. Five down, son.
don't see there's all kinds of emojis. Is that a bearded guy? That's a monkey. Oh. Hey, there she is. All right. Hey! hey. Big city girl. Look at y'all. L.A. woman. Hey, don't move. L.A. woman. Yeah. All right, John Luke, why don't you load them bags up? Make yourself useful. Rebecca has been in the wrong L.A. You know, Los Angeles. Well, West Monroe's changed a lot. What's new? We got a new gas station with a drive through It's got a window on the side. John Luke. And hopefully, that hasn't changed her too much. So you figured everything out about fashion? Well, I just, I fashion these on, so I'm like, what? Are, you, He's fine. are you listening to all the Apparently, it taught her to travel home with five bags for a two-day visit. Use your legs, son. Don't Bend down, careful. use your legs. Something's not adding up here. Crap, how many bags did you bring? One last bag. That's your purse? <laughs> Nobody told me you had a dog. Look. Why did You want to carry this, John Luke? Oh. What is it? Oh, Rebecca. Shh. It's got dog poo in it. Aw. John Luke, take care of that. Look, I hate to ruin the moment by asking how long you're going to stay. But once I see a dog and all that luggage, I can't help but think, how long are you going to stay? All right, let's go. OK. Hurry up, John Luke. Followed by, does this mean I have to put my plans on halt for making your old room my man cave? I took the top off. Man, I was ready for that man cave. This dog smells horrible. They've even got a poop emoji. Do you use emoji? Yeah. Guys don't really use them. John Lee. Hey, sir. What's going on? How you feeling? Pretty rough. You coming to get your soup? <sighs> You're making me gag, son. Yeah. Hey. So, where were you this morning? Look what you missed. I'm pretty sure I got the bird flu from carrying all these dead ducks. The bird flu? Hey. Bird flu. Bird flu probably is the only thing Si has not had. <coughs> I have had the dragon pox, the Andromeda strain, the black breath. Have you seen the dude smile lately? Talk about gingivitis and black breath. And that's dumb. Scurvy, rickets, <laughs> gluten tolerance, mad cow disease. Ah, space dementia. Which is kind of strange, because I've never been in space. Antivirus, shantivirus. You feel like the walls are closing in on you. Phantom limb syndrome. Hey, look here, hypoallergenic. And, of course, sausage fingers. These things swole up like balloons. Who could figure that? <sighs> Where's Christine? Oh, she went to visit some friends. Sal, you shouldn't be home alone. Oh, I'm OK. I'm like that young kid that was at home alone. Macaulay Coke, and I'll be all right. He's a grown man, Kay. He can make it by himself. As long as the burglars don't try to break in, OK? Yeah. You might ought to stay here, then, since you're nah, sick. No, uh, don't worry about nah, it. Nah, he don't need to stay. I might like to rig up some paint buckets or something for him. Phil, he needs to stay nah, here. Nah, he need to hit the road, as they say in the South. <laughs> hmm. There are a few things on planet Earth that you just can't develop an immunity to. I don't want to impose. Hey. No, you're not imposing. Psychrobes <laughs> are some of those things. Sal, <coughs> si, you're staying. OK, if you twist my arm. Well, ain't nobody twisting nobody's arm around here. Huh? I'm going to go get my bag. Your bag? Yeah, I got a few things in I like when I'm sick. Hmm. <coughs> oh, dear. Psychrobes. Aw, she is so cute. She's so cute. What do you think? Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Pants are a little tight. Look at her eating that carrot. She's cute. <clears throat> hey. Oh, wow. hey, 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 Mr. L.A. man himself. L.A. woman. John Luke. <laughs> Slim fit. Yeah, kind of hip, huh? Y'all like it? That was Thank you for bringing me, Rebecca. Yeah, bring me something from L.A. Rolling. Yeah, it looks so good on you. All right, y'all get Rebecca's luggage up to her room. I need to talk to your mom. Yes, sir. I really don't think I can sit down in these. The more I think about it, the more I get worried that I don't know how long Rebecca's going to stay. That was sweet of Rebecca to bring yeah, you that. a little tight. So now I've got to have an uncomfortable conversation with Corey. 
How long is she staying? Kids nowadays live at home longer than they used to. I just don't want her to turn into Jep. Jep live with mom and dad forever, and now look at him. Come on, you can talk to her about it today while you're gone. I need you to get her distracted, because I got to set up for this party. Why am I? What? Do you want to go decorate? No, I'll distract. Okay, um, that's what I thought. All right, I got to get ready for the surprise party. Look, hold her like a baby. No, I'm not really? holding the dog like a baby. Birth the baby. It's going off like an alarm. I ain't never seen a thermometer like that. Oh, well, that's actually Bubba and JJ. What? That's a dog thermometer? Well, it hadn't been in their rear end. It's been in their mouth. Well, I don't want that nasty thing. Good grief. I'm well, sick enough without, you know, getting doggy breath. You've got a fever of 99. Woo! Better call the ambulance. I'm going to go get you a cold compress for your face. <laughs> <coughs> Hey, you want to watch a movie? I got some movies in my bag here. What kind of movies? Well, I got Air Bud. Air what? Air Bud. Look, it's about a dog, okay, that plays basketball. Air Bud is a dog? Yeah. These are classics. Look, I'm a connoisseur when it comes to animal sports movies. You got Air Bud when he's playing basketball. Air Bud is an epic classic that's fond of a bunch of classics. Air Bud, golden retriever, he plays football. Huh? Great movie. It blows really right out of the water. We can go with Air Bud 4, all right? Seventh inning fetch. And hey, that's a classic one there. Hey, look, it made Field of Dreams look like the rookie of the year. We got Air Bud 5, Air Bud Spikes Back. I want to see that. They're all great. I watch Old Born. Come on, that ain't realistic. Not At realistic. Least Air Bud is realistic. If it's born, it's realistic. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. That is correct. Could the dog do what Born does? Hey, yeah, if he wanted to. <laughs> but he's in the sports. Through the years, you know, whatever sigh has caught in the way of microbes, I've developed a strong immunity to all that. So you'll take a dog playing basketball over born? Yeah. Are you crazy? No. The only thing I have not developed an immunity to... Air Bud. ...is Air Bud. I hope I never get bird flu. Hey, you don't want this crap. Because evidently, it affects the brain. Air Bud. <laughs> You know why the women don't let us plan the parties? Because we'd be done by now. Hey, man. I actually think it's going to look really nice. It sure is pink. That's my point. They overthink this. Yeah, this is a little much for a coming home party. This is ridiculous. Women love to plan parties. Oh, <laughs> and no detail is too small. All you need is food, chicken wings, Balloons, streamers, some kind of competition. Battleship. Every day would be a quinceanera if it was left up to the women. You need some type of weaponry. Not done. <laughs> <laughs> Party planning committee right here. This guy. <laughs> Ain't that a lucky punk? Well, <laughs> do you? <laughs> this party ain't gonna be actually that bad if we got this. True. What are you doing? Hey, my throat hurts. Me and Kay worked it out. Here's your homemade soup. Uh, thank you. Does that make you feel better? It's delicious. Thank you. All right, well, you ring if you need me, okay? Family is one of the most important things in life, and the Robertsons always look out for one another. What do you need? Miss Kay, I'm overrun with tissues, plus these are hurting my nose. It just pains me to see one of our own feeling ill. That's why I always volunteer to nurse them back to health. Cough drops, Miss Kay, soup, foot massage, hand sanitizer. Is this ain't working? ding a ling a ling a ling Next paper rod, bird flu, and what's for? What is it, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. I got to, I had to bail my hand. 
Plus, with me, you get service with a Miss K smile. Give me that. Yeah, but how am I going to call you? Pick it up. I was wondering when that was going to happen. <laughs> Micro, you got the bird flu, too? But hey, put it in there, bud, seven, and hey, it'll chase all them vibes away. I love that dog. This is awesome, isn't it? It's just cold. It's awesome. It's awesome. So you got something big going in LA? You got a big job lined up, or? Uh, not really. I'm just kind of thinking about, I don't know, just moving back home and. Really? Just hang out for huh. a while. Awesome. All right, I've danced around the subject long enough. I've read this whole thing about boomerang kids. Kids that go off to college, come back home, and then never really leave. Do you have a job here? You got something lined up? You been talking to anyone? Mm -hmm. Not really. Phil and Kay did that with Jeff. I mean, the dude lived with mom and dad till he's like 30. You remember Uncle Jeff, right? Yeah. He's cool. He knows about fashion. Oh, good Lord. Please don't end up like Jeff. You got to work. Get out there. You've got all that education. You got to use it. Yeah. Oh, well. She's going to end up like Jep, isn't she? Do you plan on living with us till you're 30? Is that what you're worried about? No, we just have some concerns. I actually are thinking about starting a business. Really? Yeah, I got a business owner here I can show you. Oh, crap, you should have told me this a long uh, time ago. You have learned a lot since you've been here. I thought you had some concerns. Nah, it's really <laughs> more Corey's concerns than mine. You know how she gets. I was fine with it the whole time. I love yoga. Very good at it. I think you've got yoga confused with yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? Oh. what? What is that? Congratulations. Oh, boy. Charlie's Angels. Ha, 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 ha. Guys, it's supposed to be welcome home, not congratulations. Robert's a man seem to have selective hearing. It was on sale. Look, congratulations. She's, she'll love it. Actually, I don't know the selective hearing that Robertson men have. They really could be deaf from all that duck hunting they've done. Y'all have not gotten very far. Mm-hmm. What? What, honey? Jeff, I thought you were going to get the food, like, 15 minutes ago. Mm, I forgot. They're on their way. Like, y'all got to go. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Jace, you've got to put up those lights. Why am I always the light guy? I'm going with Jeff. What? No one ever leaves a party and says, oh, nice decorations. That's a two-man job. Gumbo is heavy. They leave the party saying, that was the greatest gumbo I've ever had. We're like running out of time. We got still decorating to do. If you're discussing the decorations, I guarantee you that was a bad party. OK, just move out and we'll head. finish this. Yeah. Thank you. What? Where are the directions? You don't need the directions. Good luck. Come on, let's get that gun. There he is. Oh, yeah. The party can start now. Nothing quite excites me more than a gumbo. We're here for the gumbo. If you want to make a party work, forget the pink Freely ribbons and all the confetti. Hot gumbo, what we're doing, Jason? Yes. All right. Is it going to burn my seats? Might make it shrivel a little. It ain't going to burn a hole in it. All the Robertsons need is about 30 to 40 pounds of meat stewing in an iron vat. That a ride. I would rather eat a great gumbo in a dark alley than a crappy gumbo in the Taj Mahal. All right, boys, here's your gumbo. What's a good one? Ooh. Real good. Where's Mom and Si? Well, microbes got them. So I had it first, it bounced off him, and she got it. No immune system, either one of them. Didn't she cook that? She cooked that, but see, Jace, gumbos are boiled. Yeah, but she had her hands on the pot. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna eat it. I say it's best to get them and get it over with. Once you have it, you won't get it. Or you just never get it. The odds are you're gonna get it. Why don't you just catch it and get it over with? I don't want it. Get it now, get it later, get it now. I think I want you later. What you're saying is, like, you could get stabbed, so why don't you just stab yourself? 
and get it over with. That's, that's Catching so microbes has nothing to do with stabbing people. No, you're way off, Jeff. So I guess you, Mom, and Si ain't coming to the party? I hate to party while they feeling ill. So I'll yeah. comfort them. We'll send your condolences. May you never barf up your gumbo. All right, thank you. Have fun at the party. I smell microbes. Okay, hot gumbo. Oh, hey, hot gumbo. gumbo. Woo, be careful for hey. gumbo. Hey, hey. Ooh, that smells delicious. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to welcome Rebecca back home with this surprise party. Installed. I'm shocked that it all came together so well. Don't eat the gumbo. What? Don't eat the gumbo. I mean, Rebecca's gonna love it. Well, what do y'all think? This is one of the most festive looks the warehouse has ever known. <laughs> That's true. Hey, y'all. She's coming. She's on her way. Come on, get ready. Come on, y'all, get her up. So, now that you're all into business, I want to show you around the warehouse. So basically, what you put in the paper, this is it in real life. So I just wanted to show you around so you could see what a big business looks like. Of course, I'm happy that Rebecca's coming to visit. Why wouldn't I be? Then again, my house has four kids still living in it. Awesome. Congratulations, Thank you made it. Thank you. I mean, should she pay rent? Because she's 24, so. That's so nice. At 24, I had a couple of kids. Just saying. Thank y'all so much. Yeah. We've been working on it all day. Is that why we went to get ice cream? I was the, the distractor. Oh, you were great. You did <laughs> great. Uh, you were the, what you do you mean? the distractor. All right, before we get to partying too much, let's have a prayer. All right, come on, kids, gather up. Father, we're so thankful for everything you've given us, our family. Thank you that Rebecca's back. Uh, we just pray that you bless her and her career. We just pray that we always look to you in everything we do. We pray all this through Jesus. Amen. 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 All Love right, time. party time. Yeah. One of the few things you can count on in life is that it won't always be easy. Whether you're trying to pave the way for your kid's success or you've contracted the bird flu, the good news is in the Robertson family, Aww. someone will always be there to help with open arms and unconditional love. The best thing about family is knowing someone will always be there to take care of you, even if you have the bird flu. Hey, wait a minute. Where Phil K and Si? Booyah! They can't guard him. The dude, I mean, he slammed it right in his face. So you do realize that none of this is real. What are you talking about? You just ain't even dunked the ball right then. In your face. Hey, I love it, though. Hey, babe. Hey. Do you know uh, Yami Shiru San Goro? It looks like it's like from Japan or something. Look, it's got all this weird writing on oh, it. Oh, Gary. Gary. That's my friend from Japan. He's a big yeah. duck hunter. I sent him a ton of crap. My appreciation for the Asian culture is vast. From the time-honored traditions of the samurai down to the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Peking Palace. Please accept this token of my gratitude. The lonesome panther is the pride of the samurai. What is a lonesome panther? It's a freaking sword. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We were talking about ninja movies. I told him how much I loved him, and he said oh. he is from a line of ancient warriors. Watch yourself. I've always felt a strong connection to the ninja. That looks dangerous. Very dangerous. In fact, if I didn't become CEO of Duck Commander... Wow. Oh, no. My plan was to head down that road. Seriously? Oh. This sword? Game changer. All right, are you coming to say track meet later? Willie? Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you at the track meet. Willie? The sword's OK. So I go to college all year long, okay? 
I've been partying, having a good time. Me and my best buddy, we're both flunking out because we ain't showed up for class, okay? And he says, hey, my daddy will kill me if I flunk out. So, hey, we stayed up 54 hours in a row, okay? And we drank soda. Hey, we're as drunk as skunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do what? Hey, no, no, look, we got drunk on soda. No. Yeah, three different types. <laughs> look, <laughs> hey, if you go without sleep for 54 hours and drink enough sodas, you can get a good buzz off of it. That's Jack. just sleep deprivation. That ain't drunk. Uh, no, I was drunk. I couldn't walk straight. That's because you were sleep deprived. I went without sleep for two weeks in Nam one time. I know the difference. Trust me, I had a good buzz, okay? <laughs> and it was off of sodas. This was not sleep deprivation, okay? This was, hey, drunk. I love it, Jack. Gentlemen, how's the Mach 3s coming? I got an order for like 100 of them. What is that? What is what? What is that? You got your hand on This? What in the world? Easy now. That's a samurai sword. Pure Japanese steel. Hey, easy with that thing. You're gonna cut someone's arm off. That thing will take the hair off a dolphin's chest. And look here. Have you ever looked at a dolphin's chest? Hey, that boy's got fine chest hair. Let me hold it. <laughs> no. You're not gonna let me hold it? Jace, my friend, with great power comes great responsibility. You, my brother, possess neither. Don't ever touch this. Ever. That's ridiculous. Some people may call it gloating, that I go back there and show off my sword and not let anybody touch it. Nobody ever touched this, you hear me? It's mine. Some people may say that, and they'd be right. Get back to work. <laughs> Don't touch it. I can't believe he wouldn't let us hold it. That's like on your honeymoon, your wife come out and say, hey, what do you think of this? No touching. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Tommy, don't play that. <laughs> hey. 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 What y'all up to? Oh, we just went to a little track meet. First place. <gasps> That's right. Congratulations. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. A little fire power here. What are you doing? Well, I'm getting out my weapons, getting them cleaned up. A man becomes one with his weapon, as they say. Your weapons are your best friends. Look, you see this little puppy? It's tiny. That was your dad's first gun. If they don't have some love and nurturing, it can go south on you in a hurry. Here, you try it. It's not loaded. Whoa. Now, that gun looks pretty good on you. you Handed down from your dad down to the daughter. You know, almost makes me tear up. How would you rate your shotgunning skills at 15? I don't yeah. think she's ever yeah. shot a gun. You no, sir, had. I haven't. Your daughter has never shot a shotgun I wheel. didn't know she wanted to shoot a gun. Too long in the subdivision. 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll teach you how to shoot. How's that sound? Uh... There is still hope for America. You know what word I hate? What? Ointment. I don't like coupon. Coupon sounds weird, strange. Hey, look here. When you work with people as long as we have, hey, the conversations can literally be about anything. I think I'm going to get me a Philly cheese steak for dinner. How you going to have them cook it? You want it medium done? Done? Do you know what a Philly cheese steak sandwich is? Hey, last week, we spent three hours talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. Hey, myself, I like charcoal grey. Martin, he's in the slate grey. You know what I've been thinking about? What? I'm obsessed with that sword. That is a good sword. I feel like this sword is reaching out. I stayed up all night last night thinking about that sword. It's in desperate need of a warrior. It's saying, I need a master. I need a real man. Yeah, you never mess with another man's weapon. They get kind of touchy about it. That's not even a weapon. It's more like a toy. Well, then it's OK, then. This is a toy that I really, 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 really want to play with. It's in Willie's office. We need it. I'm going to get that sword. I'll be your lookout. Come on, Martin. Well, hey, now y'all on a mission, boy. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir.
Would it shave you? We could castrate a fly with this. It's pretty intimidating. Well, hey, let's cut something with it. Oh, hang on, sir. I'm with him. Let's cut something. Hey, let's go. cut something let's go with it. it. Go. I never said I was going to use it. I just wanted to hold it. Hey, it's lamb sauce, man. Let's cut something. It's weak sauce, sir. Hey, yep, big time. Yeah, hey, this would like be going to a, a Porsche dealer and tell me, yeah, I'll take that red one in and talk about, well, uh, here's the keys. No, I don't think, you know, I'll take a taxi. You idiot. It does feel pretty solid. Let's see what you get. Well, I don't know. Let's oh, see what that baby will do. You can't cut that thing anyway. You ain't strong enough. This samurai sword is taking me back to when I was a kid. Let's go. Cut Whack him. Whack him. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Every time I go back to when I was a kid, I start doing ridiculous things. Let's get some more stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right. Quick. So right now, I'm fixed to get ridiculous. Yep. This thing is going to be a humdinger, I'm talking about. There it is. Hey, this is going to be one of the pants-off dance-off, Jack. Hey, that's my watermelon. Uh-oh. We fixed to have a hoot nanny like you ain't had in your lifetime. I want some of that watermelon. This is going to be like the wedding from Deer Hunter. It's on the hips, Jason. Get him. Hey, this thing is going to be good. Go! We've chopped, sliced, whacked everything in sight. Mm. Mm. Juicy. Ooh, that's, that's a good Get, up, on. On. Get it again. I want the heart of it. When I circumcised a watermelon. There you go. Right there. Perfect. That was awesome. Ooh. 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 Again. Slicing through the flour. Awesome. That wasn't bad. <laughs> if I can castrate a tomato in flight. Oh, no. And hey, Ooh. this is awesome. Triangles, please. You grown particularly in your old age? You bet. Uh, what in the world? <laughs> no, that's my cue. I'll see you, boys. It's a piece of junk. So, Sadie, what do young girls your age do for fun these days? I love sports. Sports? Yeah. And, like, texting my friends, going to the mall with my friends, going to the movie with my friends. Can just throw shotgunning in the mix. Shotgunning with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm into shotgunning now. Y'all listen to your jive, you know, and play your ball games. I think I'm going to do a little whacking and stacking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They get to be 15 or 16 years old, you start leaving them alone. I mean, I would think you would want her to know how to use a firearm. So you like the movies where all the girls cry right toward the end? Is that the kind y'all like? Not really. I've noticed that when most women get together in groups, they're not happy until everybody cries over something. When the Almighty made women, he made a strange creature. They have to cry to be happy, and they all have to go to the bathroom together. What's the deal with that? I don't know. I would like to see what they do just to see why well, it takes all of them to go in there, or I'd like to know what it was that made them all cry. Mm -hmm. They're strange, I'm telling you. I can't figure it out. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> all right, here we are. Let's kill something. Oh, I stay away from places like this. Oh, no, hey, if they don't have it here, hey, it don't exist. Willie doesn't need to know that I took his sword and that Cy broke the sword. They'll have what we need here, I'm telling you. We gotta fix this thing. What can I help y'all with today? My uncle here broke my brother's sword. That come from Japan, it's supposed to be a big samurai sword. That goes on there somewhere. We fix stuff around here, but I don't know if this is gonna be fixable. That's not good. Let me take out back and look at it. I've got a couple over here you might be interested in. You walk into a pawn shop and look around, it's crying out desperation and broken dreams. I got some swords, got some knives, I even got some nunchucks. It's a sad place. This place is awesome, man. Y'all just help yourself, all right? Look at all this stuff they got around here. Hey, we could replace the sword with the nunchucks. But hey, you talking about mess somebody up. Stop, stop. Hey, you gonna hurt yourself, yeah. man. Pow! Hey, if I pop you with this baby, be fixed to be numb. That's why they're called nunchucks. On a scale of one to 10, how mad do you think he's gonna be? Eh, uh, not too bad, three. Really? No, nah, I was lying, he'll be mad as I'll get out. He'll be 10. All right, let's see what you got. 
around me down in your ear canal. If you don't, you end up like old Wonka's high. Oh, gosh. Hey, what? What are we going to do? What? I've learned a few things from the samurai about teaching your children. You have to teach with clarity. Watch where we're, watch the, the shot. All right. Be thorough. And the idea is to pew, bust that, you know. Extremely detailed. You got to do all that one motion. Let, you, let your hand do the pointing. And give lots of examples. Just say, let me just see if I shoot this time when it comes out. After this, Sadie will be able to teach a master class in shotgunning. Pull. <laughs> 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 yep, got to learn to play with pain, honey. Try one more. Pull. What? Shot right over. First time your dad shot, he did the same thing. I've but gotten better. Look right. here, I'll show you right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll show her. Oh, I thought you wanted to see something explode here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is going to be great. Sadie's going to learn how to shoot. And I'm going to get a little practice in right before dove season. I wanted to show you that. To show you what not to do. To show, yeah, because I was actually <laughs> mimicking you. All right, get you another bullet. Try it again. This time, try to aim just a little under and see what happens. OK. Cool. Hey! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, little baby. You got just enough Robertson blood in you to do that. Look. The old man's walking along limping, and some cat comes up to him, hey, I want all your money, old man. Tell me, tell me, no. I can cut your arm off, cat. Every senior citizen should have one of these cane swords. That way, when you see them walking down the street, hey, everybody would know. Hey, don't mess with that old boy or that old woman, because, hey, she will cut you. You hit him first, then you take it, <laughs> come on, yeah, and finish him off. Hey, respect your elders. And hey, I'm telling you, if every one of them had a cane sword, hey, there'd be a lot more respect around here. Now, that one there was go through a ham sandwich. You know what I'm talking about? And not break. Please don't do that, sir. I, I bet you I could cut through that whole thing right there. I mean, Cy is going around like a kid in a candy store. The problem is, all the candy can kill you. There is a hatchet, Jack. No, don't be hey. telling that, sir. You're making me hey, nervous. What are you talking about? Let's see what we got here. Mm. Wow. Si, do not throw that. <laughs> look at this. Si, I'm telling you. The human race is sick. Hey, look here. Si, hey, hey, look at me. Si. Hey, look at Hey, look at hey, hey, I'm hey, telling hey. you, don't swing that oh, around, Si. Come on. Boy, that would hurt. Si, you're really worrying me right now. You know, you want to say, hey, little Johnny, don't play with that. But it's my uncle, Si. Then you start, oh. man. Si. 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 <laughs> you're a danger to society. Hey, it's a ninja star. At some point in this shopping spree, I'm probably going to have to call 911. So it's a miracle you're still alive, huh? I'm telling you. Guys, I got some bad news. Uh-oh. Couldn't do anything with it. No? Oh, man. No. That's bad. What is this war coming to? If you can't take a samurai sword to a pawn shop and either replace it or get it fixed? Yeah, good grief. Give me a break. So that's plan B for us. And what's plan B? We're just going to get creative, you know? Bingo. You got that down, little girl? Yes, sir. She's a real, real shotgunner. Ain't she, Will? She's looking better. Moments like this are memories that Sadie will treasure forever. And sure, I'm barely getting any practice in, but teaching my daughter a useful skill like shotgunning, priceless. You've hit as many as your dad, almost. Those first ones don't count. I was teaching her. Pull. Ah! Uh, did that one count? I'm gonna show them how to do it. Don't listen to that. Pull. That's two for me. Pull. Ah! Uh oh. How many you got, Willie? I can't hear you. My earplugs in. Bingo. That's number nine for me. How many you got, Willie? Not bad. Your turn. Sadie, you getting all this? Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. She's learning. Pull. Ah! Uh-oh. Gum it. <laughs> all right, well, you may not have enough shells to catch up there, uh, Jack. What's the, what's the score over there? Scorekeeper. Yeah. Well, I think we've lost her. She's back on the cell phone. Time to... Pee on the fire and call the dogs. Sadie, you learned anything? Yeah. Great. Good. Are you pumped or what? <laughs>
Yes, sir. Pull. Man, you shattered it. This thing's a piece of junk. Well, it's junk now. Tell you that. No, it's a piece of junk to begin with. I'm gonna try to fix this sword. Since I'm the one that took it out of Willie's office, we could try this glue. All right, let's try this. I mean, how hard can it be? Hey, you don't want to get this crap on your hands. You probably don't want to get it on your sword, either. It's starting to set up a little bit. Well, it says Ooh. it sets up hey. in, let's see, 60 seconds. I think it's set up. <laughs> this won't even get you high. It's sorry, glue. <laughs> <laughs> There's one solution that we haven't tried. I know what we need to do. Hang on, I'll be right back. I mean, if you're going to go, go big. Oh, here we go. How are you at welding? On this piece of trash, probably not good enough. All we have to do is to get it reattached. It don't have to work. Hey, I'm telling you, we can't fix this. You can't fix stupid. Look here, boys, there's a lot of things you can't fix, OK? You can't fix trash, OK? You can't fix stupid. Let's just weld this no, no, part on right. the here. That's right. You can't fix a neutered dog. Come on, let's go. You can't fix garage doors. You want polka dots or fire? Hey, polka dot. OK. And look here. You can't fix stupid. All right, let's do this, sir. Watch your eyes. Willie's going to kill y'all. All right, boys, let's get it. Hey, now it's a blade with craftsmanship, boys. Fairly straight, actually. Hey, let's go put it back in his office. Willie will never notice it. Good as new. Not going to work as long as the sword is in his peripheral vision. Epic fail. How was it? The time I actually got to shoot was fun. I thought you were taking her to shoot. I was. There's nothing like spending a day on the range with your beautiful daughter. I shot three times, Willie. Only to have her sell you out to her mom the first chance she gets. Hey, look, I got something you're gonna love. Willie. What? Love. The best way to defuse the situation, I'll be back, is to cause a little distraction. What did you do the whole time? Was that myself? All I did was buy some time. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Doing, buddy? What's up with your hat? <laughs> oh, give me that. That was your napping hat? A napping hat? Really? Yeah. yeah. Actually, that's believable. Well, we're gonna. Y'all gone? We've had a long day. Hey, hey, hey Willie! Will. Good to see you, Willie. Hey. hey. What's hey. up with that? That's the samurai sword. Yeah, we saw it. Be careful of that now to catch you. Yeah, that thing's sharp. Be careful, Sam. Be careful. Well, that's really not out. for kids now. No, be careful of that thing. <gasps> you broke it? Sadie. I barely, I really, I barely touched that. I that's promise. Why is it all burnt? Look, there comes a time in every man's life where he can either hide and be a coward or he can stand up and tell the truth. So I broke it. Hey, you the one that stole it out of his office, you big tattletale. You're a terrible welder. I know I'm the one that broke the sword, but hey, Jace just put it in my back. Goodness. Hey, I'm sorry about your sword, but hey, I'm telling you, that piece of junk. Someone owes me a samurai sword. You were trying to blame me. Father, we thank you for another good day. I do pray, Father, you bless Sadie as she learns how to shoot. Help us love each other more and love you more each day. Amen. 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 The Robertsons may not look like the ancient samurai of Japan. OK, we probably seem about as far from them as can be. But when you get down to it, we are strikingly similar. What was important to them, family, honor, weapons, camo, is important to us. And most importantly, just like the samurai, when the Robertsons band together, we're a force to be reckoned with. Hey, Willie, look here. I'll take you to the pawn shop, and we'll replace that sword. I wouldn't risk that if I were you, Willie. <laughs>